Well, it finally happened. I beat Paper Mario, the Origami King, on stream, but sadly, all the vest and the vest streak ended uh, tonight. Lots of cheers and subs, but for some reason, tipping was. Oh, excuse me. Tipping wasn't even close to hitting the goal. So, uh, we, uh, so we need to think about what to do when I return on Wednesday, okay? Some options, okay? Some options. The vest streak at re reset, excuse me, okay, sorry, okay? Some options, reset the vest streak to zero and start over. Since my streams are so invested with the vests, uh, Emotes, animations, it's six vest purchase for this all to just end? Uh, but I'm skeptical that we'll be hitting the tips goal consistently since we just ended it tonight, okay? Another option would be to, uh, a new kind of streak. Already people were asking for the jerseys, the jerseys, uh, that I mentioned out here on Twitter the other night. So, we have a lot to think about. Uh, be sure to share your thoughts on uh, here, and we'll talk about it on Wednesday morning, okay? What really sucks about this is the is that I feel I failed you guys getting sick. We had a full momentum uh, with the best streak. Then I get sick for two days and it almost immediately ends. Uh, there's not much I could do about it now. And I'm sorry it happened. I know many really like the positivity of the ongoing best streak. And now, we'll probably hear it endlessly from the haters that they finally won because the streak ended. Which, of course, isn't true. My streams aren't going anywhere, but the timing is definitely bad considering I just lost two days of income, okay? Due to the stupid ear infection, and, ha and now, it looks like my future income may see a dip because the streak has ended, but I remain hopeful that I'll be able to afford the new consoles. We'll have to see. We'll just have to wait to see what happens. We'll talk on Wednesday. Okay. All right, everyone. Theo's back. Dark side Theo is, is gone, dude. <laughs> uh... You know, we can hear this, this music until, uh, you know, I, I finish the Twitter stuff, but... Man, uh, doesn't this sound like someone who's very grateful? Remember all the times he told us that he doesn't care about if we hit the streak or not? It's not a big deal, this and that. He went on a huge Twitter meltdown just because of this. Now, by the way, I really fucking hate how these trends, like, change live. Like, fucking stop this. But anyways... Anyways, uh, he mentions the Paper Mario stuff, then he immediately goes into the tipping. Now, now, usually when he beats a game, he usually tweets his thoughts on the game. But Paper Mario got fucking bodied. He gives us uh, his thoughts in the in the video, which is fine, whatever. But man, he just says, I beat it, and then goes on and on about the vest. Mr. I don't care if this streak gets, it's not a big deal, man. I'm fine. He goes on this big, like, tangent, but look, okay, he says he gets a lot of cheers and subs. Yeah, that's probably why he did get a lot of tipping. And, and at the same time, like, it, it's it, it's funny how he never realized that maybe him sitting there and saying, Oh, guys, oh, we have this much time left to the stream. I'm putting it out there all the time. And it's like, he doesn't think that maybe that would catch up to the, to the people who who uh, tipped the stream, and we'll get into a little bit more as to why I think the streak ended, because he brings it up a little bit here. So then he says some options, we should reset the, the streak. Well, no shit, the streak ended. Like, the whole point, I've said this before, the point of the streak is so that 
you count how consistent it is, and then when it stops, you go back to zero, and then you try to count it again to see if you could beat the last record. That's, like, the whole point of a streak to begin with. But he was so willing to, to end it. I think that's, what, that's another thing that Tevin said uh, when he started this, was the second he, stopped, he stops making $100 uh, consistently is when he's going to want to stop it completely. Like, he's going to not care about it. Like, if he stopped getting $100 consistently for the vest he would just stop doing the vest now it's impossible now there's like all these things that kind of force it into the content but he would definitely stop doing the streaking <laughs> the streaking whoops that sounds different but he would stop counting the streaks if it, if it broke immediately because i mean do you think he's gonna want to do it again uh and i mean i get where dsp is coming i do get i do get that you know do you really want to count it after all after all this time? But he may he created the monster. Like if he just let it go naturally, you know, it wouldn't be a big it, it wouldn't hurt him as bad to restart from zero. Like that's the dumb that's the dumb part of this is that if um oh my god I feel like I'm muted. There's no way I am. Okay, jeez, I'm like, but. He created this stupid monster, <coughs> this stupid monster of, oh, guys, uh, you know, we could cut to the streak, it, it could end, and all this stuff, we gotta hit 100, you know, I just, there's a big streak in celebration coming up, and he kind of artificially made it go for so long, so it, of course it's gonna be harder to, to restart it because he, he pushed it that far. Like, it, it's so not, uh, organic, uh, the way that this streak has been going. It's so fucking stupid. Uh, so he's, like, skeptical. So also remember that he's saying that he's skeptical that he'll be hitting the tip skull consistently. Keep that, I mean, he kind of brings it up again at the bottom, so, you know. Then he, he brings up that he wants to uh, do a new a new kind of streak, right? And he he did a poll. He did a poll for uh, the jerseys. Oh, what jersey should I wear for the next stream? He does the poll. Doesn't wear the jersey at all for that stream. And then he he brings it up as maybe you guys want to pay for that because they voted for it, so they must want to pay for it. Yeah, this this sounds really cool. This guy loves giving stuff for free and then charging for it later. It's it's so ridiculous. Oh, uh, then he brings up this. That he feels that like he failed you guys because he got sick. Dude, I love I love that he always wants to to uh uh have the he wants to own the responsibility of things that are literally out of his control, literally, out of his control. But when it's something that's within his control, it's everyone else's fault. Everyone else is the problem. No, it can't be, it can't be him. Oh, I was sick? It's my fault, guys. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, because it, it gives him petty, petty points. It's, as I said, he only wants to own responsibility when he can make money off it or make himself look good. So, since being sick immediately makes people feel sad for someone, he wants to capitalize on that. And, and that's what he is. He's an opportunist. He's not a, a honest guy. He's an opportunist. That's why, like, you know, when, when people send him false strikes, it's not that, oh my god, he's, dude, he's fucked. It's just that he saw, he sees that, and it's like, I, hey, this, this, this sucks, but I could get petty money. I can get people to feel sorry for me and give me hundreds of dollars, dude. Potentially. So, of course he's gonna, like, run with it. So, of course he feels he failed you guys because he got sick. Now when he made a bad, uh, celebration for the 200, for the 200 vest celebration, no, that couldn't possibly be bad because of what he did. No, it was your fault. You, you, you came in negative. You were negatives, and that's your fault. Oh, uh, I, it's not his fault, but man, when he was sick, that's his fault. It's his fault he got sick. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, now, now he's halfway true. I guess, in a way, he's halfway true that it is his fault that uh, the streak ended because of that. But, but, it's not because he was sick. It's because he wanted to make more money. It's like what, and that's another thing that Tevin said that the other reason why the streak probably ended was he got greedy and wanted people to make up for the lost time. And I think, and, and that goes in line with the other issue I had with DSP for for a while. And it's it's something that 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 raised some red flags when he did the marathon, that sub event marathon. The, I think it was a retrospective, I think. But he was saying like, well, guys, if we if we double the tip goal, I'll count that as two st as two streaks, man. And I'm just saying, it's like, why does he really want the vestry to go on pace all the time? Because when he was coming back from the sickness, he was like, guys, it sucks. We lost all that time, and now the vest celebration gets pushed back a few days. That's bullshit. Yeah. Who cares? Oh my god, the vest celebration gets pushed back a few days. What? What a nightmare. Like, I, I don't, I didn't get why that was such a bad thing that he would have to do the vest celebration a few days late than what he scheduled. And, and then I realized this guy wants to live his life like he's in a nursing home. Like, he wants to go on such a regimented schedule. He has scheduled meals, scheduled work, scheduled streams. Like, everything about his life is not variety at all. The games he plays on the days are are designed specifically for that. Specifically, you're going to alternate between Avengers and Tony Hawk, dude, obviously. And then like it's going to be the same with this new coming these new coming games. It's going to be the same pattern because he can't he can't do anything organic with his streams. And that and that is so stupid. It's so stupid because it's not fun. Like Half the reason why I check on so many people when they stream is because I'm curious what game they're playing. I don't know what games they're playing. Some I can kind of deduce what game they usually play. Like, this one person I know plays uh, plays a lot of uh, Crash Bandicoot Team Racing, which I don't really like. I don't really like when she plays this, plays that game, so I don't really tune in for those streams. But she plays, like, Ghost, Ghost of Tsushima sometimes. She might play, um... Uh... Legacy of Cain, she might play some random games that I wouldn't expect her to play sometimes. Or just games that, you know, are old, whatever. They're all, they're all like, random games. And then you have, uh, stream, you know, I check in Tevin sometimes, because he streams a lot of weird, weird games I, I wouldn't even think were games. Uh, you know, he, there's all these people who stream different things. But when you go to DSP, it's like the same shit. And then he thinks, and he, he, he goes off and boasts how he's a variety streamer when... He plays the same shit every day, every week. Just because he doesn't play the same game back to back every day doesn't mean he's not, he's a variety streamer. Like, it's so lame. So him wanting the Vestry to go on this stupid schedule so bad and his greed about it made it so fucking stupid. Just take the L, dude, and just say whatever, you know. And then if you will tip over the the uh, the tip goal to be 200, let's say, then say, hey, you know what? I'm in a good mood. You guys have been so crazy supportive. I'll count that as two. How about that? And then like you know, and honestly, I think he should have done that at the at the start, but he never did. So he he suddenly changes the rule of the vest streak when he's sick, and it's like, okay, dude, fuck that. Mm. Let's see. Not much I could do. I'm sorry it happened. Uh, and, then, and people love the positivity. Yeah, they love to giving you money. I love, I love, the thing I love the most about the vest is that people are celebrating giving him money for it. I put on a vest in celebration of getting, of you guys giving me a hundred dollars. Like, uh, I mean, I guess it's like, a, it's, it's like, a celebration because the chat likes it, but I just I just don't get what what it offers. Like, you know, when people tip me, tip me a dollar, or they sub to my my Twitch channel, I offer a viewer's canvas. Like they can so they can request characters to be added, and it adds to the stream in the sense that it adds to the background. It adds to something here, and like you see all the stuff that is expanding on it, and it's like. 
You know, I want to see where he's going to put the next character, who's going to be the next character to be put on. And that's like the fun, the, the fun factor of it. And it benefits me because I feel like I get be I still maintain, uh, you know, my, my techniques of drawing. Like, today, I streamed Persona 3 today, Tuesday, and I added Lucy from Fairy Tale. This was a Ludo Girl Order uh, request because he's a Twitch sub of mine. And I added her, I added her, and, you know, I thought that this came out pretty good. It came out really good, and each one of this is interesting. Like, you know, I might make a mistake with some of these drawings, you know, frequently, but, you know, it's still a learning process, and I still get better each time, and I like that. That's what I like about doing the viewer canvas. It, keep, it gets me to, to push myself. And people, like, there's a lot of requests I got that pushed me. Like, some people requested uh, a Monster Hunter character, and it was like, I was like, I suck at drawing monsters, and that pushed me to drawing them. And it's it's just a lot of fun. I really like I really like doing this, and this contributes a lot to stuff. What does the vest add? Whoa, man, he, he wore a vest. Okay. Uh, and then... He brings up the haters, because, obviously, DSP has to bring up a us-versus-them mentality. Obviously, right? Like, I said this when he started doing the vest, that every time he brings he wears it, it's like he brings up tr the trolls. And it's so toxic. And now the streak ends, and he has to bring us... If you don't care about the trolls, DSP, why does it matter what the trolls think about the streak? No, who cares? Who cares what we think about it? And I know he'll tell you, I don't care what the trolls think. They think I'm, I'm done, I'm over. Who cares? But you mentioned it offhand in a tweet. You talked about it, you talk about it on stream. Like, you do care about it. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. And then he says that, um... That the trolls finally won because the streak ended, and but his streams aren't going anywhere, so that must mean it's true. It none of that made sense if you think about it, because if the if the trolls are going after ending him, let's say, let's say that 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 we're going after the meme of ending Phil, we want to end Phil. How would ending the streak end him? He's still able to stream on Twitch. He's still able to make money on Twitch. He can still get tips on Twitch. Like, how does that even make any fucking sense? S uh, secondly, uh, let's say that we just wanted to end the streak, and that's how, and we won by that. How does that equate to uh, his streams going anywhere? It makes no sense. Nothing makes sense because his streams have been profitable even before the fucking vest streak, and the trolls know this. Everyone knows this. Like. And, and the thing is that that he says this, but uh, he also uh, gets mad when trolls say that he that he makes like ten thousand dollars a month. <laughs> he makes ten k a month and says the trolls are stupid for thinking that I make less than that. Wow, guys, he makes less than that. He must go away soon. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, and we know he's not going anywhere. He he can't get a job like. When his mom, when he trolls in 2019, that his mom said that he should get a job in 10 years. Like, that is the that is the biggest joke I heard. There's no way he's gonna stop streaming within 10 years or in 10 years. He's gonna stream until he's like, he's he physically can't. Like, it's so obvious he's not gonna stop because it makes him money. Like, there's no way he's gonna stop streaming. That makes no fucking sense. Like, it's so ridiculous. It's nonsense. And then he brings up that he might get a, uh, that now his income may dip. Now, I want you to remember that DSP said, and I quote, It looks like my future income may see a dip. Because my streak has ended. But, okay, before we see the video of his, of the streak ending, I want to go through the beginning. So we can now give this a break. I know some people might not like, might not, might not have liked that, but it is what it is.
you know, to support the streams, please do so. This was around. uh from Lipjan is the DS DSB, the King of Hypocrisy, episode two. And later, why do I say that? Because I've noticed on streams where let's say about halfway through the stream we haven't hit the tip skull yet, people freak out. They start spamming the stream chat with, "Oh my God, is this the end of the streak? And is anyone gonna tip? And are we gonna?" Look like how much fun it was having the best streak. You go to a stream. Wanting to have a chill time, right? You're supposed to come there for a chill time, but now you have the chat freaking out, spamming shit about the vest, vest this, vest that. Now, of course, this only happened because DSP has, like, I kind of wish there was a, um, a montage of all the times where DSP started. Like, it's like a gradual thing. Where he started saying, guys, uh, we're, we're this much out of the tip scope. I could get the vest. We do have the vestry going. I'm not saying we have to hit it, but, you know, we are putting it out there. And he started doing that more and more. He got more ridiculous. I kind of feel like the Sleeping Dog stream, I keep bringing it up, was the, the tipping point. Because that's when he literally stopped playing the game, put the controller down, looked dead into the camera, and gave a, the very first Vest eulogy segment into his streams. And ever since then, his chat started going crazy, memeing on it, saying, Oh my god, the Vest streak! Because DSP was the one that started it. But, th but being DSP, he flung it back at the chat and used it against them, pretty much. Because I feel like the chat did that so that DSP would get annoyed with his chat doing that so that he would say, wow, I guess it is annoying that I've been doing this. But no, DSP did not pick, pick up on that and decided to use it against them and say, yeah, guys, you know, when you go to my chat, people freak out. It's better to hit the tips goal early. Otherwise, the chat's going to freak out. It's like he's threatening his viewers to tip him or the, or the stream's going to suck. What a great time to have, right? Blah, blah, blah. And admittedly, it is very distracting. I'm trying to just play a game and have fun and relax with you guys. You know, that's the whole point of my streams. The point of my stream is not the vest goal. Although, admittedly, the vest goal has become a running theme of my streams and has been a big so source of positivity and support over the last three months. I don't want my daily stream to just be about hitting a tips goal and putting on a vest. Okay? And... What's happened is there's been some times where it's down to the wire and the last hour of the stream, it's just people talking about it. I'm like, guys, you know, please, I don't want to start timing people out and banning people for it, but it gets out of hand. Look, he doesn't want to ban people. Evil Librium should have been banned the second he did it because it was so obvious. He, he even made fucking emotes about it and he, and DSP doesn't ban him. And it's not like that Evil Librium is like some kind of pay pig either. I mean, I think he has a juicy bit badge, I think. Maybe at one point Evilibrium was a pay pick, but I don't think he ever was. I think the reason why uh, Evilibrium won't ever be banned... Sorry, this the hat is, like, fucking this up, but... Uh, is because he is friends with so many people in that chat. Like, Evilibrium is like a, is like a, uh, a parasite in the body. And the body can't do anything. The body, it's like, it's too late. It's so ingrained in the system that if you take it off, if you take it out, it's like you're you're taking a uh, a major part off that might take a long time to heal, <laughs> and that's what evil every must become. He's so ingrained in his chat, like DSP cannot even pray to get rid of him. And, and I, it becomes increasingly harder for me to focus on the game and the stream, and especially interacting with you guys, you know, in in the stream chat. Because I'm trying to talk to you, and half the people in the stream chat are just talking about the vest, the vest, the vest. It's like, come on, guys, you know? So please understand, number one, it's not all about... Like that. he says this, it's, not, it's their fault, but he's the one that he should lead by the example of, of not being, like, so overdramatic about it. Like, he milks it so hard. And and I, I'm, willing to, I'm willing to level and say that it might be unintentional. Like, it might just be him trying to be honest and, and being like this and, and all that, but he should really, like, kind of go back and think about what, how he says things. It's a, it's the same shit I said before. It's like he doesn't know, uh, the, like, how tone, uh, how the tone of how you talk, the words you use, and all this stuff 
mean to people when you put them together. It's like he formed a sentence and he doesn't understand how that can come off to people. And and he doesn't understand that. It's like he doesn't know how to talk. And and he's like 37 years old and he and he he still doesn't know how to, how, how words work. It's so And if we don't hit the vest goal today, it's okay. It's really. I mean it, it's okay. Would people be disappointed? Of course. But it's not the end of the world. You guys have supported me for three straight months in this really positive way. Don't freak out about it. Okay. Look at this. He's telling him, don't freak out. You've been, if it ends, it ends. While this guy is, went, went on a fucking Twitter rampage, a meltdown over not uh, of the streak ending, his income might take a dip. Oh, is, he's not going to hit the tips goal consistently anymore. But guys, guys, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay, don't. Don't make the whole chat about it, guys. You know? Let's have a good time. Let's have fun with the games. Let's talk today. Today's going to be a retro platforming day with SpongeBob, but there's going to be a lot of opportunity to just talk about stuff. SpongeBob. Um, oh, boy. So I hope that's what the stream is. It's Great game, best, right? Best, 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 best. All right? But if you are considering going out of your way, going above and beyond, and contributing you know, to this vestry, please do so as early as you can. Only because that way... It'll keep people quiet if we hit the best goal. Look at that. Look at that. It'll keep people quiet. Give me money. And it's like, he's asking for a hundred dollars. And he's saying, guys, it'll keep people happy. It's like, he's acting as if he's asking very little of, of his chat. A hundred dollars can be a lot of money for some people. Like a hundred dollars can be, it can mean a lot. And, and he's acting as if it's like nothing. Like, oh, just give me a hundred dollars, guys. And I mean, it's not a big deal, but man, it is giving me $100 so people can relax. Dude, maybe you should just relax. Like, there, and the thing is that, like, it's, it's, it's as I said, the, the energy you put out is the energy you'll get in return. Like, if you go out and you're just silent in your stream and you're just like, this, the chat's gonna be silent too. Because, why, why would they want to even say anything? Like, the, the streamer's not talking, why, why would we care? But if you're if you talk, if you're like more welcoming and you're like, yeah, man, what's going on? Oh, look at this. And, you know, it's been crazy today. You know, today I thought I was going to be sick today, but it's been pretty good so far. Whatever, you know, people are going to start talking and people are going to are, are going to like be open. But if you're just sitting there quiet and just not talking or you're just focusing on oh, guys, you know, I got canvas. I got a few open spaces, man. I don't know, man. Could be the end of the canvas. And it's like, is that going to be what... Do you really want to sit through that? Do you want to sit through a stream of people talking about, oh man, I, I'm not making money. <sighs> guys, guys, come on. It's not a big deal, but like, I'm just saying we have like this money out of this money. Like, come on. Then people will stop asking about if we're going to hit the vest goal. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay, guys. I don't now. want people at the end of the stream... He's literally using the stream chat as a weapon to his to his audience. The stream chat will keep talking about give me money, and the stream chat will shut up. So it's like a hostage negotiation. It's like a ransom. He's holding the, he's holding a chill time for ransom. We have you know no tips, and the goal's not gonna get hit, and then people start freaking out. All right, it's a normal stream. It's the same as every other stream we do, even though it's a different kind of game. <clears throat> it's the standard thing. If the tips goal doesn't get hit. The tip skull doesn't get hit. The vestry ends. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I promise you, I'll still be here tonight for Street Fighter. I promise you, the streams will continue. Nothing's going to change. All right? It will not be the end of the world. People tend to freak out if we get close to not hitting the goal. All right? I understand it's been over five months. Right? They We set the vest about it. Streaming for 10 minutes, unless this continues, we're not going to hit the streak. We don't need to. All right? <clears throat> I... I love the music that that goes with this. It fits the tune, the tone so well. It it's so unintentional and great. Guys, FYI, I'm only streaming for ten minutes unless this continues longer than ten minutes, which it might. But I'm only streaming for about another ten minutes, so no lie. Unless we hit the tip score within about ten minutes, this is the end of the vestry. Look at this controller down, looking right into the camera. This is this could be the end of the vestry. It's gonna end at 179. So, just saying, this is it. Just this is the saying, last straw, guys. This is really is the end of it. So, <clears throat> okay. Many times over the past few weeks, 
where we come down to the very wire. The well, is it just the, saying, this oh, is it. This is the, the last straw, guys. This is really is the end of it. So, <clears throat> okay. There's been many times over the past few weeks where we come down to the very wire, the very end of a stream before the tip skull was hit. And now, literally, this is it. After this fight and cutscene is over, I'm done with the stream. So, I guess that's it. The vest skull is going to end at 179. Which really sucks because I just ordered stuff for the next vest celebration today. I did. I spent over... Look how he, look how he, he's so, he's so passive aggressive. Mr. I'm so grateful for your support. I, I, I appreciate all your support. I just ordered food, okay? I just ordered stuff for the next vest streak and you guys are not giving me money for the vest streak? Oh my god. But he's so, he's so appreciative. For $50. And now I guess it's, <laughs> it's just a waste, but what can you do? I know I should have waited too. But the thing is, I did the, I did the map and the next event... It was would have been, um, like less than two weeks from today, and I was like, just in case, let me order now, because one of the vests, the blue vest, when I ordered it, was supposed to come here in two days, and it took almost two weeks to show up. So I was like, you know what? I wasn't gonna do it because I wasn't hundred percent sure, but I was like, okay, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll uh, oh, I got a mace. I guess I'll go ahead and order it, uh, just in case it will have it, and then I got screwed over. <laughs> Looks like it anyway. <laughs> No, tipping overnight doesn't it doesn't work like that. It has to be during the stream. No, we're not going to start making new rules up now. We're not going to make new rules, dude. Yeah, it's not how it works. The thing, like, ever since the streak started, it never ended, so... I have no idea how... The to streak started and never ended. It could end. This is it, guys. Handle it when it ends. I really don't. I have no idea. This is not an end. It sounds like it's so scared. If, over, over like tonight, it. we need the goal. Of course, it goes to zero, and then so to you guys see, you, you, you know, what I would do is there would be no vestry. It would just be like a normal night. There'd be no vestry or nothing. It would just it would be a tip skull, but no vestry, and it wouldn't start again until we hit the tip skull again. Right. Look, so to, getting better. So tonight, age. if we didn't hit the vest goal, then it would have went to no vestry. You just would have been gone. We would have started like a normal stream, and you know, tips total would still exist. But we wouldn't start a streak again until we actually start hitting the tips, the tips total consistently again, right? That's what it would be. Now, when he said that, how consistent does he want? Is it like, oh, if he hit it consistently, that'll be one streak, or is it like he'll count all those times that they hit consistently? Like, it's really weird. Um, you know, some people say, oh, do you have any ideas of how he's you one way is greedy, the other one is no, like the vestry yeah. you guys came up with, you're the ones who told me you liked it. Um, you know, some people say, oh, do you have any ideas of how you can do something different to incentivize tipping? No, like the vestry you guys came up with, you guys came up with it. Now, look at this, look at this, right? He has, he has all these ways of making money, but he doesn't want to. And a guy asked him, do you have any ideas yourself? You guys came up with this because he knows he like he can't handle it if his ideas fail. All of his ideas have failed, but since but he has discovered a way that he could just listen to the chat, and if it doesn't work, he could just blame the chat. It's a better way, and I I don't know why his chat keeps participating in this because they get chat on over everything, dude. The chat gives him all this feedback, all all this advice. He does it. And the one time it fails, or it could fail, or whatever, and it's like, it's your fault. You it, you came up with it. And it's like, dude, like, how grateful are you of your chat? His chat came up with all these ideas, and he doesn't even sound appreciative of it. He acts when it's, he acts appreciative when he makes the money, and he gets the, and he gets paid, and he can brag about it, but when it's like, but you can definitely tell when it's disingenuous and when it's genuine. And, and every time that he brings up that, you guys bring it up, does it? You guys came up with it, man. It's so great. Always sounds disingenuine. Like, it doesn't even sound genuine when he says it. And it's so obvious. It's so sad. And his chat keeps falling for it. Because his chat, his chat either is trolling him or they, they're they just, I don't know. I don't even know because I, I don't, I honestly don't like being that guy as much as I used to be. I used to be, I used to like love uh, saying, oh, well, these people must be like this. But I, I just don't even want to do that anymore with these videos. But... It's so bizarre that his chat keeps giving him advice just so he can use it against them. And it's it's so shitty. And it's such a it's not a good attitude to have. It really isn't. Like, if if, if people did not like the viewers canvas, that's fine. And and I'd be like, yeah, you know, I thought it'd be a cool idea or whatever. I'd own it and say, yeah, it, it 
it sucks they people don't like it, but no one has has, compl- has has really complained about it. I didn't see a lot of complaints about it. I've seen a lot of, you know, people have been very uh, happy with it. And I'm happy with it too, you know? So it's not... And I'm happy that people just come by as well. But DSP, every time he talks about the fucking vest, it's like... Only when it's attached to money. And only... And, and it's just, it's so fucking shitty. Like, come on. Wait, you're the ones who told me you liked it. So I don't have other ideas or anything. I'm just doing what you guys wanted, right? No other ideas. No way to tweak it. That was we've ever come to missing. Okay. So, I don't know if we're going to get to 200 at this point. I'll obviously... I'll let everyone know on Twitter what happened tonight. But I'll let everyone know on Twitter what sucks. happened. Like I, said, I was preparing for the 200. I was starting to ask you guys, what do you want to see on DSP Tries It for it? And I just ordered some stuff. More than one thing I ordered today for the celebration. So, I don't know if we're going to make it. At this point, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if we're going to make it. It looks like... The daytime streams is doable. The night night streams are getting harder and harder. Man, it's like the daytime streams are four hours long and the night streams are two hours. I wonder why the first stream is easy to reach 100. I, I, I really wonder. Well, guys, there's only about 20 minutes left on the stream. This looks like this is going to be the end of the best stream tonight, guys. It's not looking good. I don't know what to tell you. Thanks for hanging out with me. and You know, it's been a good ride with the best streak. It really has, but I guess this is it sucks this is it i don't know what to say oh uh, hmm guys we got about 15 minutes left on the stream i think this is the end of the the vest streak so i'll take this opportunity to say thank you guys for four awesome months thank you for keeping the best eulogy going as segment. Long as you did i knew that eventually it was going to end it sucks that it looks like tonight is the end but thank you so much for the support as for like what i'm gonna do i don't know i don't know if we're gonna continue and reset the vest streak or whatever Sucks I just added two new vests, and this is basically the end of it. But it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. I mean, we could reset it. The thing is, I'll be honest, I think once the streak's over, a streak or whatever, sucks I just added two. It sucks that it looks like tonight is the end, but thank you so much for the support. As for, like, what I'm going to do, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to continue and reset the vest streak or whatever. Sucks I just added two new vests, and this is basically the end of it. But I added two new vests. The end of it, dude. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is, guys. I mean, we could reset it. The thing is, I'll be honest... I think once the streak's over, the streak is over. You know what I'm saying? Now look how great this stream, this con, this content has has become because of the streak. Look how great it is. People love this. People love these segments where he puts the controller down and, and he's like, "Oh guys, it's the end of the streak, man. I don't know, man." But I always say, "Thank God for the support. It's been a crazy time. You know, it's you know, I knew it was gonna end. It's great, man. People come here to watch his gameplay and to chill and relax." But then you have these little segments where he puts the controller down and he talks. What a great way to play games. Man, he loves gaming. He loves gaming. That's why he he did the vest streak. And when he's not close to hitting the goal, he puts the controller down and, and looks at the camera and gives his little vest eulogy segments, walls around a bit. And he's just like, oh, guys, oh, oh man, oh, geez. Like, it, it, like it's it's like he's being interrogated by, the, by a police officer. And he's just, like, trying to come up with reasons for things to happen. Like... Is is a, is a police officer asking him, why did the vest streak end, Phil? Explain yourself. Saying, like, I feel that once the streak is over, it's not going to have that that attraction anymore. People are going to be like, oh, it's not a big deal, you know, to hit the streak or not. If we hit it, great, put on a vest. But, I, it was, you know, right now, yeah, it's, crazy great. it's been this long every night. But I think once the streak is over, it's over, and you're not going to see it continue. Like, every once in a while, maybe we'll hit a vest goal, but that'll be it. Thank you for allowing us to continue the vest streak at least for one more day. Uh, not sure how long it'll last. We are now up to $27 of tips, guys. Reminder, I'm only streaming for about another 20, 25 minutes, okay? All right. Guys, it, it literally looks like the streak's over tonight. I don't know what to say. We're $30. That's it. I'm only going to be streaming for a few more minutes here until we get to a logical stopping point, and it looks like it's over, guys. So I will say thank you for four and a half months of outstanding support. It's over, guys. Um, um, it's a shame that it's ending now, but it is what it is. I guess what we'll do is tomorrow on the early stream, we'll have to talk about if we want to reset it or what we want to do. But it looks like this is it for now, okay? An anonymous gift to do this up to reverse psychologist. It's not reverse psychology. I'm saying it's over. I, I'm literally just going to do this, find the key, save, and we're done because we don't have to, I don't have time to do the boss fight tonight. This has been really long, this segment. I don't think we're going to get a $70 tip out of nowhere. It's over, man. It sucks, but it's over. It's four and a we're half not hours. getting a $70 tip. It's over, man. This is... I, I think this was the uh, the extra long Paper Mario stream, too. It went really long. 
I don't know what we're gonna do. Like I said, we're gonna have to figure out do we wanna reset it tomorrow or is that really the end? And then we, we do something else? I don't know. Well, it seems like it's over. What are you mean stalling? Guys, I have to save the game, stupid. People are now, because here's the thing. So now, it looks like the best streak's ending. So now people just want me to end the stream so it ends. Instead of just saying, oh, well, I actually have to go save my fucking game. <laughs> yeah, guys, you don't have to worry. It, it, I'm telling you. I, I, I had a feeling it was going to end soon. I told you. I, that it was getting much, much harder to hit the best goal every night. It was getting harder and harder and harder. And I knew eventually what would happen is there would be a game that maybe we didn't have as many viewers. And you have maybe the, the generous contributors weren't going to be around for that particular game. And they would just assume someone was going to do it. And here we are. Didn't happen. So. An anonymous sub gift to give one to stalling. Sure. I'm sure stalling's legit. <clears throat> yeah, right. Yeah, right. I knew I was right. I knew it was going to end soon because I had a feeling that people were going to just assume that someone was going to save it every night. And I knew it was going to be... I knew this streak was going to end on a late stream. I absolutely knew it. Because the late streams were, were barely, barely making the goal every night. Very barely. What's funny is people think I'm stalling. I'm, how could I be stalling? You know no one's going to tip now. We're way past the time people already assumed the streams. I love that he, he, he's saying like, oh, you guys know it's not going to be hit. People assume the stream is over. Because they, they may not be watching the stream. Okay. Okay, dude. It's over. There's no way anyone's gonna save this now, right? <clears throat> I feel like advanced stalling. You realize I just found something new in the game. I wanna check it out. Well, guys, I Dude, look at- look at- look at over. that face. There's no way anyone's gonna save this now, right? <clears throat> I feel like advanced stalling. Ha <laughs> ha! stalling! Yeah! Look how happy he looks when 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 he's stalling. You realize I just found something new in the game. I want to check it out. How many games where something new pops up and he's like, ah, oh, that, that's popped up. That'll be great for the uh, next stream, dude. Uh, well, that's it for today's session of this game, man. Thank you for by. But now when he's $30 out of 100 of, of Vestry 223, he magically wants to check stuff out. Okay. Okay, dude. Well, guys, I guess that's it. See, here's the thing. I would I would go later if I thought that people would tip to hit, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think that this is the end of the streak no matter what. Even if I stream late, I don't think that we would hit it. So I really don't see the reason to go much later. Unless you guys see a reason for me to go slightly later, I'll just go check out those two houses in the corner. Now, I love that he's asking his fans. Well, I don't see a point. I don't see a point in, in going later, uh, you know? I don't, I don't see it, man. Why would I go later? Man, I thought you loved your audience, Phil. Don't when you wanted to stay late for your audience. There, like, I'm gonna again fucking use DSP to virtue signal my fucking shit, dude. You know what I mean? But the Persona Three streams that I've been doing, I've been loving those streams. I'll be honest, that that's like my favorite things I've been doing. Uh, those streams I've been usually been trying to do like one to two hours of a stream. And then I steeped into three hours. Then I did four hours, and I, I, it's like it's been. And I would like look at the um, summary from Twitch. I'm like, I played for four hours, and it was great because like I had a hard because I was playing. I had a hard time saying, "Oh man, well that's it. I'm gonna see you next time." More and more, the more I played it, because it was so much fun streaming it and seeing you guys reaction to it saying like oh man Theo this guard is gonna fucking wreck you man all this stuff like it, it's so much fun and then when I you know the guardians are so much fun to fight because it's like yeah do you guys think I'm gonna beat it oh type one chat if you think I'm gonna beat it and then it's like either either we, we add sadly where I, I don't uh beat the guardians and it was defeating and we, we just go we go home with it with our tail between our legs or I rise above the expectations, and I beat the Guardians, and it's like a, a crazy time. And it's 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 amazing. I, lo I love going on those four-hour streams. Like, it's been harder for me to just end before four hours, because it's like, these are, these are, a, lot, these are a lot of fun. And even today's stream on Tuesday, I had a hard time ending the stream. I had to end because I had to eat. I was hungry, and I was like, oh, man, I don't want to, I don't want to end, but I, I got to. And I'm already, like, considering playing more Persona 3 tomorrow. Like, that's where I'm at with that. But DSP, it's like, oh, you're at the end of Paper Mario. Well, well, sh should I end it? Uh, well, well, should I go longer? Do you guys think I should go longer? What do you guys want? I mean, I don't think it's going to give me money if I go longer. What do you guys think? And it's like, 
dude, why do you want to go longer for money? Why do you want to go longer to hang out with your fucking audience? I mean, these people have been like, that supposedly love you. You don't want to spend more time with them? Okay. Right? But I don't think we're going to hit it. I don't think so. People want me to keep streaming, but I'm telling you, I don't think we're going to hit it anyway. I'm telling you. <laughs> the streak can't die if the stream never ends, said somebody. <clears throat> and Bradley did a hundred bitch here. Oh, here we go. Tons of insults. You're stalling to make sure you hit the vestry. What a joke. Oh, what a human. Wind your audience and act like you're actually going to let it end. Oh my god. Listen to this idiot. Listen to this fucking idiot. Now, now I think someone brought this up with like, some psychology where if you're, if you nail it, if you're, if you're like, if you if you are honest with someone, like if if you call someone out and and they and the person knows that they're right, they will try to belittle or get really defensive over the claim. I think I think it was it, I I I keep thinking of that Progresscon video, the one about narcissism. So it could be that. Uh, but if someone calls him out for stalling and all this stuff, and that he's whining, and he doesn't even address the criticism and just says, "Wow, what an idiot." He's stupid. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm whining. Uh huh. It's like you're not even really addressing what he said. He could have just said, "I'm not whining. I'm just saying, like, I'm not whining, dude. I'm just saying that there's, you know, the it's the end of the streak. I'm just trying to tell people that you know it is what it is, and I'm just going long because I want to, or whatever. But instead, he he calls him stupid, and he's an idiot, and that's that. Anyway, anyway, roughly 20 minutes left on stream, and I cannot go into overtime tonight. And we are at $62 in tips, so we have not hit the tips goal yet. Right now, honestly, looks like this may be the end. I mean, we have uh, not even 20 minutes. In fact, we have 13 minutes left on this. Excuse me. That's incorrect. We have 18 minutes left on this stream. And we haven't hit the tips goal, and we're, we're not near it. So it might be the end. And I cannot do overtime tonight. So looks like this might be the end, guys. I'm sorry. Then it might be the end tonight, but if it is, it is. I'm sorry, guys. guys. There's 10 minutes left on the stream. And we have not hit the tips call. So this is it. And I'm not kidding. Like, this is the end of the stream. So 10 minutes or this is the end of the vestry. I'm sorry if it ends tonight, guys. Now we're on the stream. And we have not hit the tips call. So this is it. And I'm looks like this might be the end, guys. I'm sorry. Then it might be the end tonight, but if it is, it is. Guys, there's a 10 minutes left on the stream. And we have not hit the tips call. So this is it. And I'm not ten kidding. Minutes. Like, this is the end of the stream. This is the end of the stream. So 10 minutes or this is the end of the vestry. I'm sorry if it ends tonight, guys. Now we have seven minutes left on the stream. And, you know, we no one's tipping. Seven minutes left on the stream, everyone. We got a couple more seven minutes. conversations to Wait a second. if it ends tonight, guys. Now we have seven minutes left on the stream. And, you know, we no one's tipping. Seven minutes left on the stream, everyone. We got a couple more I, I, I kind of wish Lipjin added the timestamp with that because he went from, we got seven minutes, we got seven minutes. Poor conversations to do, but it's not looking good. I mean, legit, this is the end of the vestry. This has got to be it. Sucks. I had stuff planned for Saturday, but I guess we'll do gameplay. And time time to guilty. We got 15 people. minutes left on the stream, guys, and we have not hit the, the uh, tips goal yet for the night. I'm not wearing a vest tonight. It looks like this is the end of the vestry tonight because I'm not wearing a vest and we got less than 15 minutes left on the stream. Last game of the night right now, everyone. And this is it. There's le nine minutes left on the stream, guys. That's it. And uh, we haven't had the tips call, so I just want to say thank you guys very much for best awesome eulogy segment. The best goal was super fun when it lasted. Super fun. Um, you guys helped me out a ton. At this point, it looks like I'll probably be able to at least afford one of the new consoles coming up. But it looks like the best goal is coming to an end. So everything else is kind of uncertain then. You know, I was talking about maybe doing stream improvements and stuff. But since the best goal is ending tonight, uh, we'll just have to see what happens in wow. the future. All right? Just but thank you for helping now, me. Now listen to that, okay? Listen to that tone. Now he said later, I might as well spoil it because you mean we've heard this, these are old clips. He fucking says, I was joking back then because people didn't take this very well. But did that sound like a fucking joke? And we've heard him joke. We've heard him say, like, he, uh, oh, man, he, there was, like, yesterday, I think, Monday, he comes back from the from a long break in the beginning of the stream, his, his sneaky break he, ha he added, the new break, the new pre-stream break he, had, he added. It, it must have been a long one, because he comes back and says, well, guys, uh, I was in the toilet, and then I fell in, and then, and, and my and cat had to get a hammer, and we had to break the toilet open. 
And then all the porcelain opened up and the and the poop flew everywhere. Like, yeah. You, you, you definitely know when he's joking and when he's being serious. And if he was joking, he would be like, Oh, let's see the vest streak. Is that over? It's the end and I'll be burning the vest streaks and, and burning the vest. I'll be uh, building kindling and I'll be burning the vest uh, down tonight because, uh, you know, we didn't have the vest streak. That would be what he would be doing if he was joking. It's so dumb that DSP runs to hide behind it was a joke when people got think this is bullshit. Like, you can't say it's bullshit when, you, when you're so stupid with your comedy, dude. Yeah, the past five months, I really do appreciate it. It's sad that it has to end tonight, though. Okay. <clears throat> I think the vest streak's over. I seriously do. I think it's over. I'm only here for this round. Once this round ends, I'm done for the night. Whenever I get eliminated, it's over. That's the end of the streak. So, you guys think I'm kidding or something? I'm not. I think it's over. This is it. Once I'm dead, I'm dead, guys. It's the end of the stream tonight, and that's it. It looks like it's over. The vest streak is over. All right. So, I guess what I'll do is, after t tonight, on Wednesday, we'll have to talk about what we want to do. If you guys want me to remove all the vest uh, emotes, or you want them to stay, we got to talk about, uh, you know... What do we want to do with all the vests? It's the end of it. Do you want me to do something different if we do happen to hit a tip skull? Or do you, you know what I mean? I don't know if we want to reset it or what. What do we do? What do you want to do? It was a good run though, over five good months, run. man. Over five months over Look at all this guilt right, tripping. Really nice. Thank you guys for that. All this so, guilt FYI, tripping. just about 20 minutes left on the stream, everyone. 20 minutes left, just so everybody knows. You know what's going on here with the tip skull and everything. You know what's going on. minutes and I have to leave, so. Just a reminder, the longer you guys wait, if you are going to contribute, the shorter time you even have for me to wear a vest. Last time when I played this, I had two minutes to wear the vest and no one could even pick it in a poll. I just had to throw a vest on because there was no time. So if you are intending on contributing tonight, I recommend you do it right Man, I love that he, like, he goes into this in the, in the uh, next Snorpernel video we're going to watch, but he is so, he is so convinced that his chat... <laughs> With all this money from him and, all, and does all this stuff, which is like, you know, I've been memeing about that because I, it's it's just it's, it's it's funny to me to think that people are just watching a streamer and just be like, I could give him money. I'm gonna wait for him to cry about it because like it's it's funny that DSP cannot make any money on his own merits, off his own commentary, off his own uh, off his own gameplay. He can't make any money, but he needs all this stuff to kind of hold him up. To get money, he needs a drama segment to get money. He needs to make people feel sad. He needs a vest, and I'm just saying, it's like, yeah, these people are just like withholding money, dude, because they want to hear him cry about the vest. And DSP also believes that. I think he believes unironically. While I'm kind semi-ironic with it, because I do think it, I do think that it might not be the case all the time. But I, I do think that there are some people in his in his little support group that. That that they that just want to hear him cry, and the vest has kind of given him a shortcut. They don't they don't have to wait for a drama segment to happen. They could just get it with the vest. Do it. So I can at least wear the vest for the last couple of games. It's like a hero complex, dude. All right. And I'm not going to joke about removing emotes and doing stuff like I did last time. People got so upset when I did that. So I'm not now people might not have been upset about the vet the emotes though, but he literally literally said that he's not going to do the stream improvements. Because of the vest streak. And now he's saying, I was joking, guys. I was joking. When that wasn't the case. I'm just going to lay it down matter of fact with you. I don't think people are being mean because they don't tip till the end. You don't have to say that. I think it's just... Uh, you don't have to say it to spend. think it. <laughs> or maybe we really are going to hit the tip scope tonight. I don't know. I'm only here for about 15 more minutes, so... <clears throat> Ten minutes left on the stream, everyone. It looks like this is probably going to be the last Oh my god, this is awful. Second. The when audio, draw, whenever dude, this... the audio of Fall Guys is so fucking bad in his streams. It's, like, so loud. It's, like, you hear DSP yell, and you hear, it's just, like, oh, my God, fucking, ugh. This ends, this is it. So this is it, guys. Like, literally, this is your last chance to tip and continue the vest goal. It's about to end for good right now. Oh, I earned the chicken outfit. Cool. This is it, guys. The final round. Since I still have five minutes left, I don't want to waste it. But if I lose, it's over. It's over. I told you guys there's no overtime. It's just this is the final round. This is it. I have to go or else my wife will be very, very furious with me. <laughs> yeah, Cat's, Cat's so. going to get the belt out.
Don't want that. Like, it's Last insane It's insane to think that Cat would be mad that DSP is still working to get money to pay for the house, right? Like, it's so stupid. It's like, he, li he thinks that he lives in a movie. Like, no, no wife is gonna just magically assume that you're avoiding her if you stay late at work, like, a few times. Like, it's not like he's doing all the time. It's not like he's going out of his way to avoid Cat. Like, come on. Chance, guys, to continue the best streak is right now during this final game. And if I get eliminated, that's the end. All right. Well. Looks like this is the end. All right. Well, if the streak does end tonight, then tomorrow what we'll do on the first stream, we'll have to talk about what you guys want to do. Do you want to restart it or do we just give up on it and do something different? I don't know. Like I said, I really felt that once this streak ends, it's it's not going to be the same. Like people aren't going to be, gonna be the, same. the best anymore once the streak ends. And it's a it's been a crazy positive novelty that has happened as long as it did because it kept happening. So I guess we'll have to talk about it tomorrow. Derek, I have no idea. I don't know what to do if the, if the best streak ends. I don't know what to do to, to to continue on. You know. So yeah, this is this is the end of the streak for this sure. This is the oh, end. God, see saw too. <laughs> Yeah, this is the end. It's the end of Remember, the streak as we no know it. Street. I thought I was done there, and that was the end of the vest streak. Then again, I mean, it's probably still the end of the Whoops. vest streak. <laughs> what? Everything's on the line. This is the most viewers I've streamed in a while. I'm not looking at the viewers. I'm not looking at the viewers. I'm not looking at the viewers. Everything is on the line. Not only winning and falling. I'm not looking at the viewers. Uh, everyone's coming in to see if, the, if we're going to hit the vest streak, guys. But I'm not looking at the viewers guys but also the best streak when i lose it's all over uh look at this name 450 <laughs> pound dude that can barely walk there's no way you're getting your name on the leaderboard two dollars and said hey i'm wondering why can't we talk about the vest goal it's not that you can't talk about it it's that when people start talking about it they derail the entirety of the stream and make the whole stream about it and it's not the whole man what happened to that shirt goal, look at that shirt dude game. So what happened to it for? it's so like it's so it's so weird. It's like yeah, that's his name. The four man, you whatever. know. Um, if that's what you're here for, you're in the wrong spot. I'm not gonna let my stream. It looks like one of those very rich shirts. You go to like like a, like Nordstrom's or something. It's like a really nice place, and they have this like pristine shirt. That's what it looks like. People spamming about that crap. Spamming is against the rules to begin with. That includes copy pastas, and that includes. Uh, asking constantly, what about the Vesco? What's happening with the Vesco? You're you're not going to be here for long. Okay? All right. He has such weird shirts. It's like he has no taste. Let's do this. What the hell is King of Hypocrisy? King of Hypocrisy. <laughs> Persona 5, dude. Uh, I'm going to get it ready. For the next video ready. I know what video I want I want to watch, and you're going to understand why pretty soon. Once you see it, once you see it, you'll know. You'll look at it, and you'll say, I know. I know the deal, the dealio. Under glasses on stream. Either this month or next month, I'm definitely <clears throat> to a dollar forty-three. That's cool. The glasses aren't as pronounced as the. Okay, there we go. All right. So let's watch this. Holy shit. For your business tips, oh fuck. None of your business tips, $2 says it's really great with all the cheers and the subs. Remember that the tips are going to help more than anything right now. And he's right. You know, we're gonna keep the best wow. Literally tipped him with the, with the meme. Remember Got the him with the meme, dude. Here tonight, just like every other night. Give me your money. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Give me your money. Now, now I like how he tells us he can't do the cowboy hat because he can't hear when, you're, when the headphones are like this, right? But he has an ear infection. Can't hear, dude. But he's able to, to do this and hear the audio just fine. Huh. Weird. I guess I guess they hear some audio, but not ideal for gaming, dude. He needs a he he needs that surround sound, dude. He needs it. If he doesn't have that surround sound, he might as well be blind. What's the point of gaming? Hygienic streamer tips just cheered. He said, I once saw a documentary about a guy who had ear pain. Turned out he had a big mummy cockroach birthing in his ear canal. That sounds great. Luckily, that's not me because I'm getting in both ears, so almost like I got a cockroach in each ear. But if you're pretty fucked up, that's not happening. So 
I can't go late. I can read a million cheers down. I'm only on stream for another half hour, guys. So, you know, that tips goal where it looks like uh, it's not doing too good. So thank you guys. I'm sorry I can't go oh back and read cheers now because people were cheering during the final boss. What do you want me to do? Like I couldn't derail and talk about off-topic shit when I'm trying to finish the game in a limited amount. Of I can't talk. I can't talk about other stuff while I finish the game. You, you can't talk about anything. Like, dude, it's not that hard to talk about stuff during a game, especially like a fucking game like this, dude. Time, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the stream. I can't go late. I wasn't kidding. Like, I'm done. The game is over. Now, look at, look at his like eyes. Look at yes. his eyes. Yes! Oh my god, I hate that yes. <laughs> so, I don't know why people were, like, the people Where's were that from? or whatever tonight. Because there was a lot of support tonight, and it was mostly subs and cheers. So, I don't know where, you know, why people did that, but that's going to be, why? this is it. This is literally the end of the stream. Because there was a lot of support, like the Vestry Silver. Yes! Yes! God damn it. So, I don't know why people were, like, the people were holding tips or Were people holding tips? I don't know why people were holding tips, man. That, that's, that's a... I, I just love that he is so, like, when it comes to getting money, he, he, it's like a, a homeless guy with his hand in your wallet. The whole time. I don't know why you're not giving me the money. Uh, you have money in your wallet. I don't know why you're giving, not giving it to me. Uh, oh. Like, imagine if you go to your favorite stream and they're like, oh, guys, um, I know you got money. You guys, it, it, it's pretty much, it's pretty much Jesus saying, guys, you have the internet. Y you, you definitely have money, uh, you know, uh, and you're watching my streams. Hello. Or whatever tonight. Because there was a lot of support tonight and it was mostly subs and cheers. So I don't know where, you know, why. People did that, but that's gonna be this is it. Why did people support the way to now now remember the times, the simple times, the happy times? Uh when the tips goal used to be just for until the day Twitch pays him, right? Remember though remember that day? Remember those days? Oh uh, guys, I got yeah, tips goal in effect, but uh what's Twitch pays me? I don't care how you support me. You can tip me, you can cheer, sub, whatever, man. It's gonna be great. And I'll be able to relax and have a good time. But now, now it's every day. And, and it's seriously a measurement of his greed. Because it is so bizarre, right? How he went from doing that to suddenly the tip school became a permanent thing. And that's something he did quietly, too. It was a quiet addition. He quietly added a tip school to his streams, and no one asked any questions like, Hey, dude, I thought this was supposed to be for this. Then, I, I well, actually, no, I take that back. I think someone did ask him, and he said, Well, uh, you know, people like the tip school, okay? That's why I have the tip school. People love it. And it's so dumb. People don't love goals. They, they think goals are like, oh, you know, I saw someone have a uh, tip school for a um, drawing tablet, and it's like, Okay, you know, I can see that, you know, this person wants a drawing tablet and all this stuff and, you know, maybe, you know, she can't afford the, uh, the money to get it, so she's doing a tip school on her stream for it, which is fine. It's, it's at least a, a tool that she'll use, you know, and it's, it's, it's fine. It's, a, you know, fine. A lot of people do tip schools for those things. DSB does a tip school for no reason. To pay his bills and to put on a vest. And it's like... You know, when he, so when he added the tip school just for free, it was like, wh what's the point? This is literally the end of the stream. And this is what we get. I told you guys I couldn't go late tonight. So this vest streak is about to end. Any and he sounds like a fucking parent. It's like a dad telling the kid, I, like, you drive by a rest stop and you tell your kid, all right, little Billy, uh, our rest stop's coming up. Do you need to go to the bathroom or want something to eat? And, and little Billy tells you, no, daddy, I'm fine. Are you sure? I mean, it's going to be a long drive. We're going through, uh, is it Pennsylvania? I think it's Pennsylvania. We're going through Pennsylvania, and that and that part of this road doesn't get a lot of rest stops. So, you know, if you need to go, you, now's the time. And Billy swears to you, I don't need to go, Daddy. I can, I can, I, I could be a big boy. And you're like, okay, Billy, okay, little Billy, let's go. And you drive through, and then, he, then... He gives you the look, and he's like, "Daddy, I want, I want lace potato chips," and and you're just like, "The little shit." I literally asked you if you want fucking snacks, and you said no. 
I asked you, and you said no. I told you it's a long drive. We're not going to see a rest stop for miles. And now you, now you want something? Now you want something? And, and, and that's what this is. That's, that's what DSP gives his audience, because his audience is not kids. Unless we get a, a, a tip right now, at the very tail end of the stream, and there's no time for a vest, the stream is over. So unless we get something right now, this is it. This is the end of the vest streak, and I guess what we'll have to do is on Wednesday, uh, when I come back from my day off... <clears throat> um, yeah, I, was, I, I, I remember that time when I was driving. This is totally derail, derailment. I derailed myself, dude. It feels bad. But I uh, was, was driving... I had a college, so I was driving through Pennsylvania, I, I believe it's Pennsylvania, could be filled up, I keep switching them, but they are, it's notorious, the, the, the route I was going on, that there would be no, not a lot of rest stops, because there's so few and far between, and I remember when I was driving, that would be so paranoid, like, I, I need to make sure I have a full gas, gas, gas tank, I, I can't, you know, whatever, if I see a gas station, I'll have to stop, go full, you know, get it full, and then, you know, take, take the journey, whatever. So I, I'd be, I'd always be very paranoid when I would be driving through that. I did not want to go through that with like near half, uh, have a, have a tank. So it's like always, always, I always filled it up. I was very nervous because my dad was telling me about that. I was like, Theo, going through this, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta get ready. It's like, oh shit. And, and that got, that got to me, dude. Now, technically in, in retrospect, I probably didn't have to be that like paranoid about it, but you know. You know how it is, dude, when you drive for the first time on the highway, and you're going, you're going cross, cross states, you're going to different states, etc. It's, like, it's like a whole thing, you don't, you don't, the last thing you want is to be like, um, you know, run down to the side and like, oh, I need, I need to find a place to go, you know? But what do you guys want? Do you want the, to, to reset the vestry to zero? Yes! <clears throat> Man. Oh, oh no! 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 Papa Vera! Oh, what was that shit. for? No! No! Papa Vera! Oh, it was from that Minecraft shit. Right now, I remember. I, didn't have the two I think. Days off I think. Last no. I don't we remember. We would have been four ahead, so we would have been at 280, and then it would have been less than two weeks, and we would have had a vest celebrate. This sucks, because right now, if I didn't have the two days off this last weekend, we would have been four ahead, so I we thought you didn't have days off. I thought it was sick days, dude. We would have been at 280. And then it would have been less than two weeks, and we would have had a vest celebration. And now it looks like the whole fucking thing ends. Now, I like how how he's saying like we would have had a vest celebration, dude. And and it. Hold on, I want to hear it again. Things off this last weekend, we would have been four ahead, so we would have been at two eighty. Now he thinks because it it being less not less than a week, it ends because of that when it wasn't the case. The because if people wanted the vestry to continue, they'd just tip you. Like it, it's it makes no sense because they have to get two hundred anyway. This is so stupid. Like this is really dumb. And then it would have been less than two weeks, and we would have had a vest celebration. And now it looks like the whole fucking thing ends. Because, because we could have had a vest celebration even, even if it wasn't in the day that it was scheduled for, it would just be delayed. Like, why was he so married and committed to having the vest celebration the day that it was supposed to be on? Like, it was like he was married to it. Like, he 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 had, he had was married to that date. Like, man, he loved that date more than Kat, it seemed. Because of, because I'm sick. And then, he wanted to blame someone. He says, oh, we couldn't because of, uh, uh because I'm sick. He was so ready to blame to blame the, the, his his fans, but then realized, as he said it, wait, wait a second, I can't do that, and then said, because I was sick. Oh, excuse me. This fucking guy, we man. Four ahead, so we would have been at 280, and then it would have been less than two weeks, and we would have had a vest celebration. And now it looks like the whole fucking thing ends because of, because I'm sick. Because of, because I'm sick, man. He really wished, like, he wished that, sound, that super hound puppy dude came by and uh, and gave him a strike and all that stuff so he could blame him all day. Like, that's what it sounded like. He was ready to blame him, but he didn't come by. And then he's like, oh, oh shit. You know, which is fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. That really pisses me off because it ends because I was sick, you know? But it is what it is, I guess. All right. Of course, it ends because I was sick. Not because he was asking for too much money or that he wanted to be oddly, like, on time with the fucking celebration. Like, it, it's so stupid. And and at the same time, you could even, even if we take out the, the money scheme he wanted, 
it could have still ended that time any anyway. And to say that it's because he was sick is a dumb fucking excuse because he wasn't streaming when he was sick. He was streaming and he didn't get the money. And of course he's saying because, oh, well, people didn't know I was streaming. The dude runs a fucking Twitter and tells us everything every day. And like, and he played Paper Mario the day it was supposed to be played. And, and he's acting as if like it changed everything. Like, come on. So guys, thank you for... Over five, this point, almost six months of the vest stream. Now look at these Much eyes. Uh, the support that you gave me during that time period. It sucks that it ends like this, especially with the, everything that happened this past fucking weekend. And now I'm way behind on everything. This really sucks. Way behind okay, on everything. You know? I was in, I was in Funny how Cat's income is gone. The Twitch income gone. Patreon gone. Teespring gone. Like, all those things don't give him money. Like, Patreon, it says that he makes, like, what, $300 a month? That's free $300 that he's pretty much giving them. He's getting. And then he gets Teespring money when people buy stuff. Then he gets to, um, Twitch payments. Funny how all that stuff gets kind of memory hold, and he wants you to focus on just uh, tips. And again, like, he used to hype up Kat as the second income. Oh, she's the second income, dude. And I'm just like, she has no interest in paying for the bills of the house. She doesn't want to help her husband out at all. Like, I mean, I'm not saying that she has to pay for everything. But, I mean, she has a job, too. And she has no interest in anything. Like, okay. She's in a good position because I got sick. She's clearly saving up for the Xbox sex, obviously. She has to. She needs that sex, dude. Put everything up. And I'm sorry for that because now I kind of feel like I'm, I'm to blame. For the vestry ending because it wasn't because the support didn't come it was because me getting sick through everything and fucked everything up this weekend you know and now people probably didn't even come out to the streams today because they know what was going on because i've been sick and everything so i'm sorry for that okay uh but it is what it is this is it man he's so, glaring uh, at his we'll chat is on wednesday morning we'll talk about the future like do you guys want me to stream we we're gonna have to go to zero talk. right if we're gonna start it over it has to go back to zero um and I, do you want to continue? Because the thing is, so much is with the vest. The, you got your freaking uh, emotes of the vest, right? We've got animations with the vest. Everything is you know based off the vest streak. And now that the vest streak's over, it, I don't know. I like how, you know, how these emotes based off of the vest is based off of the vest streak. You could just say the emotes are based off of the vest, but he really wants to be married to the streak, huh? So how to proceed? Do we want to do something different? Right? Do we want to do something? He just wants the streak to continue, so he doesn't have to think about this. That's really what this is. Now that I real, now that I think about it, it's not that oh he wants the money. It's just that he doesn't want to think about what would happen if the streak ends. Like he doesn't want to think about it. It's like um, uh, you know, it's like in Persona Three. We're going back. We're gonna bring a Persona Three story into this. The whole story of that game, the fall is coming. Oh, oh. Your demise is coming, uh, guys. Now, now, if you do this little thing, I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil it for all of you. It's a good game. Play it. Oh, if you do this one thing, you can forget everything, and everything will be hunky dory, and you'll die without knowing. Or like, you can let me live, and you'll have to like, uh, uh if you don't do the thing, well, uh, you know, the thing is gonna happen. Everything's gonna get fucked up, and you'll remember it. And you're just like, oh shit, do I? And DSP is the kind of guy that probably would would choose the uh, let's do the thing where we forget about it, so you don't have to think about it. He doesn't want to think about anything. He, like, man, if he was in Persona Three, and, like and everyone is like deciding, yeah, let's not do the thing, so we can face face the uh, our demise and like deal with it. He'd be like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to forget everything, man. Uh, you know, it's like, what's the point? He would just instantly bend over to the, to the demise of civilization. He immediately bend over for it. Completely different or not, I don't know. But this is it. There's no holding out. Why people are holding out hope? It's oh, Guys, it's over. The vest streak is over. This is it. It's the end of the stream. I told you guys I couldn't stay late. I have to upload. I have all the shit. Sad music, tonight, dude. You know? And the one thing I'll say is I'm sorry because I was told that this game was only going to be done with about an hour and it went two hours. It took the whole stream, which is fine, but people were waiting for like a Q&A segment or Fall Guys and it didn't happen because again, it seems like every single time someone tells me how long- Now, now, he, when he was telling us about he was going to finish Paper Mario, it was always, oh, if there's time, maybe, who knows, there might be, you know, it is what it is, if, if, if. And then when it doesn't happen, 
It's like he gets mad about it. You told us if, dude. You didn't tell us to expect it. And then he's like saying that people expected it. Okay. Long the end of a game's gonna be, they're always wrong. It never fails. Every time I'm told. Now, finish now, since he couldn't blame people for the vest streak ending, he's gonna blame people for telling him that they beat the game faster than him. Like, you really have to think about how slow DSP is when he plays the game. Like, you have to act as if he's like a little baby who doesn't know how to move a controller from the. To, to play a game. game early, it goes to the end of the stream, like every fucking time. <laughs> Seriously, every fucking time. So. I, I did now, not why would you want to help this guy know about the length of games when he just yells at you about it for being wrong? Wrong. I did everything correct. Didn't say it was anyone's fault. Now there's the trolls, of course. Yeah, I still say it's our fault. No, I didn't say it was anyone's fault. I just told you it's my fault. Because what if they're saying that you're blaming, that he's blaming you guys for the length of the, uh, the game, though? I was sick. Okay. I got sick because I'm a human. I'm a fallible human. A fallible human. Entire weekend. Not a normal so human. A fallible human. Income, Only fallible humans get sick. Max, and now tonight the vestry ends, and now who knows what's gonna happen? And it does. It worries me because this was something that was really positive and fun. And I was like, man, now maybe I can afford the console. People actually just tip earlier, and actually, actually the tip should be one dollar more because someone named Penis Parker tipped me a dollar and said apparently it's been leaked that the Xbox information is out. The Xbox Series S is only gonna be three hundred dollars. And the Xbox Series X will be 500 They're out November 10th. That doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, like, I was hoping to keep the vestry going so that I could actually afford both new consoles and everything, and now it's over. So... No, it's over, dude. Help! All right, so Big Daddy Snowcrawl Chase to stop stalling and end the stream. Cat's gonna be home and angry. Cat is home. And she is angry. waiting for me right now. All right? So I guess that's it, guys. All right, so thank you for almost six months. Of the vest streak it officially ends tonight double we'll do guilt shot speech we'll, we'll talk wednesday morning uh, on pre-stream about should we reset it or what do we do because i have freaking six vests we have vest whoa emotes, vest. Have vest animation you know the vest celebration which you guys seem to have liked doing so i don't know if you guys just want me to drop the whole thing because the thing is uh, I told you guys, when it ends, it ends. I never thought that it would continue as long as it did. And I said, when it ends, I think it's over. I don't think that rebooting the vest streak is going to work. I don't think we're going to get uh, stream after stream after stream of hitting the tips goal anymore. I don't. I'm serious. I really don't feel it's going to happen anymore. Like, I think people will be like, well, that was it. It was a run or whatever, right? And now it's and now it's over. So, uh, now I really it's over. feel that it's over. So, <clears throat> I guess we'll have to see on on uh, Wednesday morning. All right. All right, guys, that's it. I'm ending the stream. Have a good night. Uh, tomorrow I'll be off. All right, all. That's it. There's no tip. People are screaming. There's no tip. <laughs> that's all. That's it, guys. Oh, there's, there's no tips. There's that no would tips. Would have already happened. It would have happened already. That's it. The vest streak officially ended tonight. All right, it guys. It would have happened already, guys. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. And I will see you all um, on Wednesday. Like, it's been tough. You oh know, my, my God. life has been tough over the last decade. Yeah. In Star Wars, you said, I told you Paper Mario was shit. It killed the streak. No, I don't think Paper Mario killed the streak. I think me being sick killed the streak. I do. Because I think that it threw everything off. We had a consistent schedule of new releases. Now, this was not part of the YouTube video, by the way. All of this was not in the YouTube video. It's not now. Because why would it be, right? Okay. Okay. All right, guys. All right, that's guys. It. That's it. Have a good night. Have a good Slowly day tomorrow. Then. And I'll see you all on Wednesday uh, when we figure out what the hell we're going to do. Uh, if we're going to reset it or if that's just the end of it, we don't care about it anymore. You know? All right, guys. Have a good night. I'll see you on Wednesday. <clears throat> Have a good night, guys. Celebratory toast! Everyone, if you have a drink, <laughs> raise your glass with me. Salud. Well, I don't know why you guys are still here, but uh, that's it. I'm going to delete it. So it was a two, it ended at 276, guys. Well, yeah, well, technically it wasn't really. Technically it wasn't. We did some doubles yesterday, but that's it. Zero. Zero, guys. Really had to it's mash official. those buttons. Had to make it official. Make sure you All heard right. the impact. I'll have to see you guys Wednesday. Like I said, you guys think about what you want to do uh, tomorrow while I'm off. And when we come back on Wednesday, we see do we want to restart it? Or do we want to think of something different? I don't know what you guys want to do. 
It's up to you, but it is officially over. Why not do a uh, push-up? <laughs> I like how you're laughing, Street, too. Dude. Well, it's funny. All right. So then he made more tweets because, you know what? Why Why wouldn't you? You know, your, your streak ends and all that. He does this stupid-ass poll that means nothing. He literally had to become a plumber so that people would vote for that and he could make it a funny meme on the on the pre-stream. Because this is what he what th this is him orchestrating his fans to vote for this so that he could come on stream and see a funny joke. That's really all that was. So it, it, it's so stupid, and it's also like uh, lore trolls as well. Like this is just all just to bait people so that he can have a funny on pre stream. So that and and that is actually a really shitty thing to do when you're really genuinely looking for advice and you do this just just to throw it away. And it's like then what was the point? You're wasting valuable time. Whatever. So this random. This random comes in, right? Okay, Phil. $50 tips goal. Put on the gunner glasses. $100 vest goal. $200 jersey goal. Are we really going to spend $200 for jerseys? Okay. Uh, please consider this. I think $50 tip streak is a worthy of celebrate. Is a worthy of celebrating. Great, great sense there. Then you get to $100 as the vest goal. When the tips goal is doubled, I think fans will like it more. Less stressful. Now, he didn't want, he didn't want to do that $50 streak. It was either a vest streak, which is going to be $100, or a jersey streak, and that's it. $50 streak, that's stupid, dude. Why would he, why would he do that? Ew. Okay, I think I really like this idea. Give incentive for lower tips as there's a reward much earlier and incentive to tip above the tip skull uh, for something new. Thoughts? And then he talks about the Xbox sex and and sex and says and saying how the PS5 is his uh his favorite waifu. Uh, well, the hype of the vest streak was real. Uh, the only people really caring uh, right now we are the trolls. Alibaba wins, they as strong as ever, and with full hearing for a day of new releases, uh, new release streams that will be chill, positive, and fun. Uh, a fresh start. Man, I can't sleep. Both, both sad and happy that the stream has streak ended because it means that we can move on to something fresh and new. But at the same time, it was definitely something meaningful for a lot of people. I'd love to hear your thoughts and on the last six months. This dude literally told us a tweet ago that only the trolls cared. And now he's telling us that that the uh that it was meaningful and everyone loves the vest everyone loves the vest the vest was like amazing it, it, it's it was the future it, it, it was amazing guys but and this is the other thing that's so dumb with him now i'm gonna go into a little theo theory isn't it now now of course the meme the meme theory is that people thought that uh, when he was going on water breaks, he was messaging the whales to, to hit the tip school and all that. And he didn't hit the tip school Monday. He clearly, guys, uh, before the stream started, because I don't think he went on a on a water water break or whatever. If he did, okay. But uh, either way, he must have messaged the whales and said, guys, don't tip Monday night. Let the streak end. <laughs> clearly. Because it to me, it's so weird. It's so bizarre, right? That magically the 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 streak ends at the end of his streaming week so then monday the beginning of the new streak can begin anew isn't that kind of too coincidental like that is just way too like silly that the how close that was like how like how that worked that's so coincidental like it's insane because this guy, this dude, always wants to change stuff when something ends. And he wants to do it on a round thing, on a round number, all the time. Oh, if I'm going to do something new to the streams, it's going to be the beginning of the next year. Or the beginning of the next month, or whatever. He always wants to start on a clean, like, beginning or whatever. So it's very weird that the streak ends on, like, the most DSP way. The day before his, his day off. So that way he can start the new week with a new setup. It's so bizarre. So clearly he must have messaged the whales and said, Don't, don't tip, dude.
Uh, so let's see. In all the chaos, so he brings up that he hit the sub goal. Yippee! Maybe shaking things. Oh, and then now we get to the fun part. Maybe, maybe, uh, sh may. Oh my God, maybe. Is this supposed to be one word? Maybe. Maybe, uh, shaking things up a bit, uh, for the stream tomorrow? Got some stuff up my sleeve. Time to start fresh. Now, what's so silly about this is that this, this baited so many people to assume or think he was going to add a green screen to do some major Im improvement to his streams. That wasn't the fucking case. This dude is so... Is so minimal effort. Like, everything that he does to improve the streams only improves stuff for himself. It's rarely an improvement for the viewer. Oh, he got a PS4 Pro. Oh, does that does that do anything for the viewer? N no, it doesn't. Oh, he got a 4K TV. Does that improve for the viewer? Uh, no. Oh, he got new headphones. Does that mean he'll have better audio quality? Uh, no. So, all these improvements he does... It's always him first, and then maybe, maybe you guys will get something that will improve the uh, quality for you. Maybe. So when he did this, I just knew immediately he must have changed the love seat and probably put the new a uh, new couch because he was he literally talked about how he wanted to um to move that love seat out and get the one in the nook, uh, and replace it with the one in the nook. He wanted to replace it. He said that at in some in a shout out or somewhere in the, in a few weeks before the streak ended. So that's why it, it was also very suspicious that the streak also ended uh, around that time. Enough time for him to get a new chair or to replace the chair with the one he already owns. But either way, uh, I just knew that was the case because he he talked a lot about it. You could definitely tell when. He wants to do something. He'll talk about it a, a lot, and he'll he'll sound very dedicated to it. So when he was saying like, "Oh, I'll get the one out from the uh, closet," I got I'll, I'll use that. That I knew he was gonna do that. Whew! Working our butts off here, but tomorrow's streams should be cer certainly be interesting. And then he posts this the stoop. Oh God, is is Instagram gonna do this to me? Don't don't do this to me. Just just show me the fucking photo. Why at this point he should just post this this photos to Twitter directly? This is he's such a boomer with fucking Instagram. It's good, and, and he's like doing he does an emote like you know maybe maybe cat cat did this, but it's so weird the way he um he talks on Twitter the way he talks on uh Twitch all this stuff he has such a weird way to talk it's like so different, but whatever. Okay, he he does this to height, and people are like, oh, green screen? And it's like, uh, no. So then he says, the office has been reorganized, restructured, and completely cleaned, sterilized. I will not get an ear infection again. That will cost me days away from streaming. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we start anew. I hope to see you all for the new setup, new goals, and fun streams. Now, I got a question. Uh, there was a pre-stream where he literally told us, now, now this is also kind of funny, it's not, I don't think it's going to be a theor theo theory, but this is just funny, and a, a funny observation. When uh, he started feeling incl inklings that he was going to get an ear infection, he told us immediately, the first thing he said uh, said to us, uh, you know, if you, it, it's, it's said that if you have an ear infection, you're prone to get more, so like, this could just be another ear infection because I already got one. And my dad had ear infections too, so it could be hereditary. So he tells us that it's something that, that could happen out of his control, right? Like, he told us that it, it was hereditary, once you get it, you get it, whatever. But then, after that, he immediately tells us, Oh, it must have been the office. The office is dirty. Oh, the headphones, they have bacteria in it, man. Well, so, like... He, but he but he told us before that it was the fucking um whatever. So he says this super excited for tomorrow now. And then uh okay. Oh rebooted stream dude. Oh boy. So now we get to, to this. Because we lost that momentum, Monday night, the best streak ended. I take full responsibility for it. I blame no one but myself. Okay? And when that happened, it was obviously eye-opening, because I was like, man. 
with the vestry ending i don't know now what's going to happen in the future for me are the streams going to be as hype are we going to get as many people on the streams are we going to get people Wait, supporting they, the streams as much as they had income is a factor here because i had made all these plans to definitely get the, the playstation oh boy buy, maybe get one of the new oh Xbox. boy oh boy let's let's read this oh boy Beethoven's Fifth Symphony is one of the of classical music's most famous works, but to many, it's also a symbol of elitism and exclusion. Listen to Switched on Pop, and Niff will explain why. D Vax that cap. Go fuck yourself. Oh, whoops. Go fuck your privileged elitist selves. If you actually thought this was worth publishing. Uh, you have no right to publish anything. Sincerely, sincerely, rest of the world. Hashtag Beethoven. Oh, boy. oh man, I wonder why he he participated. Twelve point five k tweets. Hmm. Okay, so this is stupid because you could say whatever about it, right? But this is just. No, everyone, everyone at the time, like, classical music is pretty much elitism. Pretty, not, 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 not elitism, I take that back, but it is usually, like, the, like, the high class, the, the elite class, goes to, goes to operas, all this stuff, usually, because they're very expensive tickets. I mean, how many people get to go to, um, to a theater, or to Broadway, or whatever, you know, not, not everyone, and, and, and because they're all in New York, it's already exclusive to that point, I mean, they, a lot of places have been trying to reach out more and more these days, but it's still like, you know, not, it's not inclusive everywhere, whatever, I mean, there's a lot of things to it, uh, but it's also like, it is a, a art that is very appreciative of, of higher class, even painting and all that kind of stuff, that's why, like, it's a, it's a rich man's hobby, uh, etc. Now, I don't know that necessarily the, uh, um, uh, the context of this, and I really doubt DSP even knows the context either, and I'm not gonna take the time of this video to kind of go through all this, maybe someday in the future I will, but, uh, if I really care, but this is just a, a knee-jerk reaction. I don't even think he read their opinions, and the other thing that's dumb about this is that this is just an opinion. This is just them saying, oh, these people think this. It's just an opinion piece. And he's taking it so fucking seriously. Oh my god, guys. People think that this is about this. Oh my god, guys. Can you believe that? It's like, who fucking cares at this point? You can have any opinion on, on all this old media and all this other stuff. I mean, it's very different. And I guarantee people would be surprised to know, right, that Picasso, Van Gogh, all these people that people look up to today were worth shit back then. People did not give a shit about them because it was already exclusive to those painters. And over time, it was it, they got their value after they died and all this other shit. And and also, it, it's it's a much it's a loaded conversation. And DSP is not the kind of guy to to be part of that conversation. Box consoles. I wanted to do all these improvements to my setup, including the possibility. I have to. I, have to, I do have to read their their opinions. Uh, getting a green screen, screen opinion. and doing all these these positive fun things. Um, and was that all off the table now, you know, and that's, that's going to remain a concern of mine is now because the vest streak is over, right? Does that mean that the level of support that I was getting is over? Because I really do feel that the vest streak again, it was, it was momentum and it was, it was something that was, like I said, it was a symbol of, wow, Phil's an underdog. Everyone knows that Phil is the guy who- Phil is an underdog getting $27,000 or whatever the fuck. He's an underdog for eating that much money. Okay. He's always had to fight against adversity when he streams because he has so many people hating on him and so many people who talk shit about him. What about him. the people who stream and they don't get any attention, though? And they still do it. They still have a good time and all this stuff. I mean, I think they're more of the underdog than he is, but okay. Um, And to see him be so successful... I mean, with this logic, Christian is the ultimate underdog, dude. <laughs> with this logic. I mean, come on. Plus months was actually inspiring. All right? And... <clears throat> It's, it is kind of disappointing that it ended, but at the same time, there's different ways that you can approach when something like this happens, okay? I can just sit back and, and be all sad about it and cry, all right? And I get the feeling that a lot of people who don't like me saw my- Yeah, he's gonna sit back and cry, dude. He did so many tweets talking about the fucking vest, though, but he didn't go back to cry. He went to work. The night's end of the streak as some kind of a victory for them like they started cheering and freaking out man he must have saw that post that like that um 
Whiteside Phil put up, where it was the those people at the bar, where everyone's like, yeah, woo, woo, and stuff. You know that 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 tweet. The ESPN must have saw that and said, that's what they think. They all celebrated. Out that they had finally won. They had finally ended the streak. It was all their work, their doing, right? When in reality, it was me getting sick was why the streak ended. But to them, this is... He has to cloud the chase the end of the streak, man. Imagine imagine being that. Imagine that being your life. You have to cloud chase the end of a tried. streak. After six months, they had tried and failed and failed. And finally, they got the streak to end, right? Finally. Celebratory toast. Salud. Or he watched that so clip. people contacted me with nasty messages. Really nasty fucking things. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you know, insulting. This dude has been getting nasty messages all the time, though. And now he's like, you are sending me nasty messages. Mr. Thick Skin, but like... <laughs> me, saying this is the end of, of everything, okay. the end of my streams, the end of my livelihood. It's all over, right? <laughs> now, I could have approached it with that ad. That's what you said, though. You said my income is in jeopardy. I might see a dip in my income. That's what he told us. I could have said, well, I guess that's it. You know, that was the best I'm ever going to get. And I give up and I throw in the towel. Or I just, ah, fuck it, whatever. But instead, I immediately went back to you guys. Right? I immediately went back to you guys. And I said, spend all your money on me. <laughs> spend, all your, spend all your money on me. Well, this is so stupid. He fucking sat there and said, oh, I'm dip my income. He fucking cried at them about how he might lose that, that money that he was getting. Money. I need money. And I am going to give massive credit to my wife, Kat, because after the streak ended, <clears throat> she sat down with me and she said, let's do some stuff. All right. And yesterday I had a normal day off where normally I would be out and about having fun and doing fun stuff. Instead, I busted my ass preparing for today. All right. So allow me to explain what I was up to yesterday, because I think you're going to like what you hear. First of all, I have begun... A regimen of cleaning in my office. Whoa, all right? man! Once a week, when I come back guys, from my break, which is usually guys, going to be a Tuesday, guys, so can you get the get this? I cleaned my room last week. My streams must be amazing right now. I cleaned my room. You guys love me more than ever now. I cleaned my room. I had this. I had this bureau full of junk. Cleaned that shit out. So you guys clearly love me more now than ever. My streams have improved. My videos improved. Everyone loves me. Obviously, that's how it works different day but usually a tuesday once a week when i come back from my break i am going to decontaminate this office and sterilize it i have bought antibacterial wipes and i'm going to sterilize everything now i like how the answer is to do this now he told us in the past that he took a shower he takes a shower like what once a week or whatever and then he takes he takes a shower once a week uh and other days he just wipes himself down with a washcloth yeah he he, he does that I really never heard anyone do that in my life. So that that was I was really surprised he did he does that. And it's like, dude, it's probably you just need to take a shower every day. Like at least take one shower a day. Like that like at least do that. And he can't even do that. He has to take a shower like once a week or whatever the fuck. Including like All the services I touch, not just the headphones that obviously gave He'd, me ear infections. He would much rather do this than take a shower. Is this guy a fucking child? Like, I remember when I was a kid, I hated taking a shower because I was a fucking dumbass kid. But he acts like a little baby. I, I gotta take a shower. I gotta go. Okay, but all my gaming controllers, the keyboard that I used to update the leaderboard, my laptop, um, my mice, the monitors, any mouse? other like controllers, for, for example, my air conditioner. I'm going to decontaminate everything once a week. In mid-2016, I accidentally streamed myself masturbating. I'm constantly masturbating all around my streaming equipment, just so you guys know. Right? Something that I should have been doing all along and did not. This should hopefully ensure that I am not going to get sick any further. And it's my pledge to you guys that hopefully I do everything I can here at home to stay from getting sick. Wow! The vest streak ended because I was lazy, and I don't want that to ever happen again. We deep clean. Now, now look how look at this. He 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 doesn't want to get lazy. He doesn't want to do anything for his streams for free or at all. Only when he loses money. That's the only way you'll ever see any benefit if he doesn't make any money. What kind of message does that send to uh, the people who support you? That 
you know, you get all this money, you don't put that money to, towards your business, you put it towards everything else, and then but when you don't make any money, then you improve your business? Okay. The office. I got the love seat out of here. And I took my old brown chair from Connecticut. My wife, for her birthday, got some money from my parents, and she used that money to buy a carpet shampooer for the house. And we not only- Now, now, if you go back to- I, I think it's in a Mr. Hustle video somewhere, but he mentioned how, uh, if you give him gift money for his birthday or Christmas, that money is meant to be used on toys or, like, recreational things, right? Not not bills or or anything else. Don't save it for that. Buy toys with it. Cat gets gift money. Oh, and he said that if you do that, you're an asshole. Like that's fucked up. Cat gets birthday money. Buys a a a carpet shampooer. I guess cat's a bullshit. I guess cat's a piece of shit. Cat's an asshole, dude. DSP said so, DSP said so because if you take gift money and buy self responsibly with that. You're an asshole. You're dumb. That's not how. That's what gift money is meant for, dude. It's meant to be to enjoy yourself. Does cat like get turned on by cleaning supplies? Does she like Blaberta from uh, Moral Oral? Dude, maybe she is. She could be Blaberta from Moral Oral, dude. Oh, you guys need to watch Moral Oral, obviously. If you don't know who that is. Only deep cleaned the floors and everything in this office. We shampooed the carpets. This is the cleanest. My office has been since the day I moved in to this house. Okay? It's 100% clean from top to bottom. It's so nice. The car I'm looking at the carpet. It's white. I haven't seen this color on the carpet in six years. <laughs> Seriously. So this is the new setup. No love seat anymore. Whoa, look at okay? this setup, dude. I'm now dude. sitting in the brown chair, and what I can do is show it to you. Let me get up. Because I can actually do this now. Watch this. Watch this. I can stand up and show you. It's the brown Whoa. chair, the rotating chair. From back in Connecticut. I used to call this the captain's chair. Okay? I used to call this the captain's chair. Not because he's narcissistic, dude. <laughs> Man, that... Rotates. Look at this. Head, head shake. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm facing my television. I'm actually gonna play games facing my television from now on. What a revolutionary concept, huh? Something now look how excited he is about that, right? But if you go to his gameplay channel, let's go to his gameplay channel. Now let's look at this. Whoa, man, so different. Whoa, man. Now let's see. Dude, let's see what it was like before the vet, before that couch, that chair showed up in his life. All right. Dude has to look this way, all that stuff, right? But then he go here. He still, he, he still has to turn. His head's still slightly turned a little bit. Like, it's just, it's barely, like, any different. Barely. Casualty, my location. Well, this is Darkside Phil at Hotmail. Now look at this. Now look at this great setup. The leaderboard keyboards here. The, uh, the, the computer where this matters that he has to look at is on the other side. So he has to type like this. This, dude. You know the into the white come into us? I know I, I, I have a, um, Intuos tablet. And I used to use that a lot, but then I, I shifted from that. But uh, the one thing that from that that you learn very that's a learning curve is that you draw like this. Your 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 stylus is on the ground, all that's there, and you're drawing looking at the uh, t at the uh, monitor, and that is a steep curve because you have to like really disconnect from what you're looking at because, you're, because what you're drawing is on the screen, and it's so jarring. But this is stupid. You don't, he doesn't have to do that. He could just put the keyboard there and type like this. But instead, it's like it, 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 it's so bad. So that explains a lot. If you emailed me at a Gmail address, you, you're emailing me at something that's not mine. You probably sent it to some impersonator or something. Yeah, we'll try. Looks like. 
And look at that. To look at Chad, he has to do this. Oh, you're saying this? Like that? That's a that's a great setup. That's a great setup. But you know what? You know what? No, it's a better setup. Like, look, look at this. Let's let's go to uh, to my playlist, boys. Let me show you the 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 grow up of the century. You guys are gonna be so surprised. You're gonna look at this and you're gonna say, Theo, you're a genius. And you're amazing. And everything you do, okay, no, no, I'm not gonna go all the way. Let's look at that and let's go down to this. If this loads. Experienced gamers. Now look at look at how, how this old this old classic setup. This is that classic setup. I Mike the camera was here. Like this literally, if I got up to go to the bathroom or anything, you would literally get my crotch in your face. Terrible set setup. The only thing I did like about the setup though, I did like the cats. The cat I thought the cats added a lot of personality to the to the stream. Uh but this is the new setup. That I moved, and I thought it was, and it was, it's a really good setup. It was actually, it's more efficient. This one wasn't bad, for the most part, because the TV was there, the computer was here, so I at least was able to look at the at the uh, chat and look at the TV. Like it was actually like kind of like, and I had a good periphery of what of um what was being said in chat, etc. So it was like not a bad setup, but this I think is a better setup because I get to. I have the TV right there where the game's going, and then you're like right there, right next to me. Because clearly I'm using the uh, the laptop camera, so I'm able to like look at everything very clearly. The only time I have to turn my head is to see if someone you know tips or whatever. But that's uh, I mean that that's like easy. I I also look at the monitor because I I see the banner that Streamlabs gives me, so that gives me a good idea of of what people are doing. Sometimes I check over to my iPad to see if uh, anything happens. So I have a good like. Visual is I'm not doing anything crazy where I'm like doing this or like having to go the other way to see stuff that I want to see. This setup is so fucking dumb. It's such a bad things setup. I probably should have done on day fucking one, right? And, and he thinks it's a great this. setup. Now immediately, of course, people are saying, what happened to your wall? This is what happened to my wall, my love seat. As I told you guys, my stupid love seat was way too big for this office. And it would hit the wall and damage it. These are holes. These are actual holes in my freaking wall drywall from the love seat no, look at instead this. of being further away where it's going to be more blurry the webcam is closer to me now so that means it's going to be closer that's whenever I not on how webcam. cameras work and i could tell you even with my new setup dude the camera is probably the same quality as it was before uh, the only improvement is that you get to see my face better and you don't have to see my crotch in your face <laughs> you get a better angle of me dude like, seriously, do. when I had that old setup, I was really considering getting rid of the face cam for Twitch streams because it was like, I don't, I don't think we need it, uh, you know, and every time, and I have to keep messing with the camera, with the uh, camera, it's, it's like not, not a good setup, and maybe I should just get rid of the face cam in general, whatever, and just have the, um, the gif of Cleo smacking her lips in, in, in its place, but then when I moved it, it was even, um, Sorry, I, I thought I heard something. When I moved to the new setup, it was just a better setup. Because you get to see my face. When I get up, you just see normal part of my body. You don't see my crotch on your face. It's all good. Better visuals than it used to be. We've talked already about improvements to the streams later this year and saying that I would love to get a green screen. Well, guess what? There's tons of fucking room back here. Look at all the fucking room. Whoa, <laughs> man. I could do anything I want. I could dance back here. You I could can clown it up. Stands over here. There's room in my office. Holy shit! Whoa, this is man. what I. I'm serious. This is what I always wanted: is to have an office where I, I could move around and do shit. My real name is Bozo, and I have a big honking red nose and big floppy clown shoes. You know, you guys have been asking. There's tons of for two years. What kind of car? Um, you know, there were there were different options. I had a poll that I posted up Monday night. And the poll had four options, all right? It was... Oh, boy, we get, we get just this. Just reset the streak and start from zero, all right? Um, start a completely new kind of streak oh, that has nothing whatsoever noise. to do with the vests, okay? Oh, I don't even... 
Okay. Make a new streak or try to do a new streak or reset, you know, do Let's new streaks based here. off of not only the Offense. existing vest streak but other things to tweak it basically. Make it better. Or become a plumber. Now, overwhelmingly, people want me to become a plumber. Now, look at this. Right? Look at and this. Look at this epic joke. Sadly, I just don't have the ass for it. You need to have a really pristine plumber, plumber's crack to become a plumber. I don't have the, the ass for it. I was, I, Man. You know, I, I'm not going to qualify. This dude, three things he loves talking about poop, butts, and food. His three favorite things, the holy trinity of things he loves. He talks more about those three things than fucking video games. He just loves butts and and uh, poop and food. Man, he could go on and on. But if you make poop jokes, that's disgusting and fuck you. But he can make poop jokes all he wants. Qualify. So sadly, being a plumber is off the table, even though that's what the vast majority of people want me to do. So the other options, I weighed and balanced them all. All right. And looking at the options here. Number one, here's the way that I think we're going to do it. All right. We're still going to have a tips goal of $100. That doesn't have to change. Then again, we don't have to hit it either. You know? Um, Dude, this fucking press conference voice. Guys, welcome to the pre stream. The boys, the boys in the nook have come up with some, something, some amazing stuff, amazing strides. Now, we introduced to you the vest. And it was great. It was fantastic. It innovated everything. Then, we made the vest streak. Sadly, we are disappointed how it turned out, but I think you're going to love what we have here. The boys in the nook have provided us the captain's chair. This will let me turn around with spinning technology. Technology called the, the pig silicon. The pig silicon technology allows the, the captain's chair to swerve around so I can look at the, at the television screen. Innovative. The boys in the nook were very pleased to show me this, this new device. Now, you might be saying, what, what's, what's next for, for Burnell Industries, Burnell Productions? Well, the boys have come up with $50 gunner glasses. You're going to wear gunner glasses for $50. Yes. It's it's the new thing we're going to be doing because now it means a lot that you guys have supported Burnell Productions for so long. So we're going to have $50 Gunner Glasses reward. Now, the boys in the nook have also came to me. This particular person, I'm going to name her name, Kat. She works in the nook. She told me that she has something special for you guys. She has devised the spin streak where I spin around once I get $200. I think you're going to love it. You're going to love it. It's, it's, it's brilliant. You know, we were thinking, rattling our heads as to what's going to be our next thing, our next big thing. And we're proud to announce the, the spin streak. Thank you. That is Burnell Productions' keynote. I'd like to thank everyone here who came and watched. Uh, you can sign up for the, uh, spin, the spin Streak beta outside the door. And uh, hope, hope to see you guys using the new technology that we're going to give you for the, for the streams. That's what it sounds like. You might as well just do that. I don't expect to hit it every stream. Be honest, I don't. Fuck you. You're a liar. Remember, your contributions are... Kind of a reward in place, a reward structure where you guys get something, even if we don't hit the tip skull. All right? So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have the gunner glasses be a halfway reward. What is that? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I got... I, I, I wonder. I wonder. This sounds familiar. Now, you might be saying, Theo, yeah, that, that Twitter guy. Uh, no. Actually, this sounds even more familiar. Let's go back in time. Back April 11th or so, when he did a Q&A. Okay. <clears throat> Swaggin says, well, the glasses should be $50 and the vest should be 100 because the, the glasses aren't as pronounced as the vest. Here's the thing. That's not how it works. That's not how it works, Swaggins, you fucking idiot. Fuck you. 
our our tips goal is hundred dollars. <laughs> I love man, Swaggins got the massive cuck life. The massive cuck life. He gets mad at DSP for um Sekiro nonsense. He makes a he makes a grandstand of leaving DSP. I'm done with Phil. I'm done with him. Fuck him. I'm out of here. I'm done with Phil Burnell. And then he comes back. All right, guys, uh, I'm back. Uh, uh, you know, you guys are pretty cool. I think I'm just gonna be here for the chat, not Phil. Um, oh well, well, Phil got you know, you're a pretty cool guy. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, um, oh, oh, I get to be a mod again. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll be a mod. Oh yeah, I'm a mod now. He's a mod now. He offers this, gets bodied. A random person on Twitter brings up fifty dollar gunner glasses. DSP says that's a good idea. I like this idea. Let's do it. Man, 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 Swaggins get, it's like, he gets cucked so hard, he's, I, I, I can't believe that there's someone in DSP's community that gets cucked harder than anyone else than Swaggins, like, that is insane, Swaggins was the first to offer it, back when he was counting streaks, and the saddest part of it all is that that $50 reward thing would have literally helped the streak more than than now. And now he doesn't even count the streak. He doesn't even do the streak anymore. So like so he gives us a halfway reward when he doesn't even do the streak. When he was doing the streak, the halfway reward could help get to the reward to get the streak. When we hit $100 something happens. People want the vest. So the vest will continue. We've got yeah, people want the vest for $100, Swaggins. They don't want $50 gunner glasses, idiot. Oh, Swaggins, shut up. Don't talk. For vest streak, there's no way we're changing that. We're not going to add mini goals under and think You're overcomplicating it. it yeah, be you're overcomplicating, Swaggins. How dare you, fucking idiot. You're stupid. You fucking wanted to have a $50 reward uh, back when he was counting the streaks, you fucking idiot. Stop being, a, stop being stupid, Swaggins. He Okay, this is what it is. This is what people like. Now let's add something on top of that. What would be a double goal, a triple goal? That's what you do. You don't go backwards. <laughs> yes, Waggins. You don't <clears throat> go backwards. You go forwards. Stupid. I don't know, Vinny Kitty. Maybe they do improve gaming. Maybe. Like, I just love that he said he had all that about it. Here, <gasps> the, the glasses are $50. Does that mean? What a that piece of shit. Halfway to the tips goal, 50 bucks, then the gunner glasses come out. <gasps> Then oh they come God. out. This shocks me. If we hit the actual tips goal, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send all of you a million dollars personally over the internet. You're all going to become millionaires overnight. Yeah, right. Man, Obviously, this teacher comedy, dude. If we hit the dude. tips goal. I think your teacher do, is funnier than doing? DSP at this I'm point. I'm going to put on a vest. You guys are going to have a choice between my vests. Oh, my God. What the fuck? What, mm. <laughs> what oh, the fuck? Man. That's so pretty that's good. that's just going to stay the same that it was. All right? Now. What I would like to do is have better rewards for higher tiered tips being hit. What I'm going to do is kind of leave it to you guys to give me some feedback today on what you would like. So if I hit a higher tips goal, all right, would you like me to put on one of the jerseys that I have? I have three different sports jerseys. They were actually NFL or... Man, NFL remember when he was, he was going to wear this for free? He was going to wear the jerseys for free, but now he wants people to pay $200 for the jersey. Now, my wife had a crazy suggestion. Oh my god. Right. I know people are gonna are immediately gonna jump on this, but because it's it's fucking stupid and embarrassing. But my wife said if you hit a tier two tip skull, here's what you should do. You guys ready for this? This is her one hundred percent this was her suggestion. Remember right. it's cat's suggestion. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so hold on, hold on. Whoa. That was four. That was oh, three God. times, by the way. Not four, <laughs> but okay. All right, that was four. That was only four spins, okay? <laughs> and I'm dizzy. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm rotating. <laughs> that was only four, and okay. I'm spinning already. Okay. I'm rotating, dude. So Look, I'm, I'm like dizzy. Two, two tips goal, That's how it basically, works. Basically, I, like, spin in place, like, ten times and get incredibly dizzy, and then I try to play the game. <laughs> that was her suggestion. <laughs> now people thought that like oh it's so stupid that cat came up with that but i think i think it's a testament that cat i i think cat sees his audience as a bunch of idiots 
I think she has such a low opinion of his viewers that she thinks anything would be good for them. Because, like, he tells us, like, on uh, Sunday, he mentioned that Kat reads the chat and said that nothing changed, the cat's still bad, and all this stuff, right? He, she hates the chat. She hates it. She even said, he even told that she, that uh, he, she reads the chat and she tells them how much she hates it, etc. And it's like, dude, she must think that his chat is a bunch of babies with, with daddy's wallets or something. Because, like, like Sushi's gonna tell them, tell them, yes, Phil, you should, uh, take your car keys and dangle them in front of the camera. <laughs> like, she might as well just tell him to do that. Because it's, it's so, like, I really think she just, she, 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 she yeah. She suggested that because she th she thinks his chat is that dumb. I think she has such a low opinion of his chat. It's kind of kind of sad and kind of funny. That's how I see it, at least. But it could be both. It could also be both. <laughs> she says, "Call it the spin streak." I was like, "Oh my god, the spin streak!" Uh, so imagine that I spin ten times, and then I try to pick up the controller and play the game. Right? <laughs> it's not that. I don't hard. know if I'm gonna be able to sit in this chair. I might roll onto the floor. I don't know what's going to happen, all right? But that's what she suggested, the spin, start the spin streak. So the tier one tip... I like also be self-harm as well on Twitch, by the way. The spin but... streak. Okay. Okay. No! Oh! To, to if, if we get a streak, which is no guarantee, there's no guarantee that we're going to hit the tip skull today. But if we have a series of streams where we're hitting the tip skull, do you guys want me to start no. tracking... The rando on tw on Twitter said that he should count the streaks as fifty dollars, and DSP said, "Uh, no, it has to be a hundred dollars, dude." The best streak again. No. Because we can start <laughs> over, which we has to start over. We can't just go back to two seventy six. Has to start at zero. And what we would do, what I would say, is every fifty, every fifty, we do a vest celebration. Like Hodor Tarkir said, so "Would you still consider yourself the best overall gamer in the country, or was that hyperbole back then?" It was never true. He's it was done me talking out of my ass being for silly. Now, I don't remember when I said it, if I was being serious about it, or if it was actually me actually at that point being kind of oh, facetious about okay. it. I don't, I don't think he got that part, but there was a part where he was like, do you guys want the streak? And then someone said no. Like, everyone, everyone in chat said no, 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 no. And he was, like, looking, looking it down, and he was waiting for one person to say yes. But then he said, oh, the chat's going too fast. I can't read anything. Uh, everyone's saying no, though, but I, I can't read anything. He, uh, he low-key did kind of want to do the streak again, but he also didn't want to do it at the same time. It, it's, it's so... Uh, like, did, you, did people really want the, uh, the cry for the vest to come back, though? The vest cry? Did people really want that to come back? I mean, it was not really fun to sit through and hear, Oh, no, guys, it's... We have, uh, we have five minutes left on the street. I don't know if we're gonna hit the best street, cuz I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. It's all about that fucking tent. But now we go to this. Are you the man? Come on. Pass the lunch table up, ramp on the. Pull me over the fucking noob. I and if we double the tip, it's been oh. in place till I'm dizzy and fall out of my fucking chair like I did earlier today. <laughs> what an exciting we call it the spin. No, look how he's shitting on this goal, dude. Cat came up with that, and he was so happy about that about that in the day stream. But this stream, he fucking hates it. And you'll see slowly he starts shifting the story, and it stops be being Cat's idea, and it starts being the chat's idea. I wonder why he wants it to be the chat's idea. Can you think why? Streak goal, yeah, it's very exciting. Oh my god, this dude, hint, man. Hint. Well, now being the third, did a hundred bit cheers, and no one cares about the goals you set, like glasses and a vest, you focus on the content instead of making how much money you get the whole time, you probably make more. You mean like I did before the vest streak ever existed? Which I did for uh, 12 years before the vest streak ever existed, you know? And then you guys asked me to start doing goals like that. It was you that did that, not me. It was I didn't you. Use those goals, you guys did. You did this. I never remember. I, w I had a tips goal of hundred, and I said whatever. If we hit it, we hit it. Thank you for the support. And people got angry. Well, we should get something for it. That was literally. Now look at this. I'm so glad he did this because I knew it. I knew the second that streak was gonna end, he was gonna slowly start throwing his chat under the bus again, and he did. And this was like what two days at no. 
No, it was the day of. Holy shit, dude. It's the day of the first time he streams without the streak. And immediately he's like, well, you guys wanted it. And I didn't want to do it. But you guys wanted to do it. So I did it. And, and look what happened. You guys hated it. It was your fault. You came up with it. And it's like, dude. Like, you decided to do it, though. Just because the chat came up with it doesn't mean that you had to do it. You did it. So... I'm sorry, it's your fault that it's your I was told, but we should get something. If you're gonna if you're gonna do that, you should, we should get something for it, man. And people still give like, him okay, feedback well, so they could be yelled at things, for the feedback they give him. That's when I started doing the goals and everything. Like I didn't make it up. You guys did. You know? Um, it's not my fault. I, I and did uh, again, wrong. like he, he treats his chat like a hive mind too, like a sheep. The people who are complaining about the vest streak may not be the same people who wanted the vest streak to begin with. And now he's saying it's the chat's fault. Okay, cool. I did every. What a great streamer! It is. It's like what I said. It doesn't matter what I do. People are upset. Like I said, you can please some of the people some of the time. All the people. No, you can please some of the people all the time. All the people some of the time. You can't please everyone all the time. And there's always going to be people who are who don't like what I'm doing. I feel like that saying he, he got like, that saying wrong. As, as other stuff. Isn't like people wanted goals. People whatever. wanted more interaction. People I, I wanted suspense building on streams. They didn't want it to be 100 about the gameplay. So it wasn't like you can please things, some like, of the oh, people or do this or do that. all the time. And you can't please like, oh, everyone all the time. Now. Okay, so now it's gone. Oh, whatever. you see, you should have never done that. But you asked for it. I didn't have that for a million years. Like literally, it was always about just be playing games. And then people asked for it. That's why I implemented it. And now you're gonna tell me that I did it wrong. It's like what the hell are you talking about? It's your fault. I make mistakes. I'm a foul. I'm out of water. Can you guys see the the vest goal continue? It was stupidity. <laughs> it was absolute stupidity. So stupid, but no. he he could have. Polish frog says if I leave water. He could have also told his veils not to. My water bottle tip, from the earlier though. stream isn't at room temp. The water in there. Poopster. It depends on the water. Filtered water. What a great top contributor. We can talk about the tear goals. The fuck are you talking about? Fifty dollars of tips tonight, and as I Let's said see. for the hour to make it happen. All right, and that is so we're fifty-five a possibility. Okay. But there's no pressure to do it. <laughs> That's not what we're here for. Okay. Okay, so then we have this video. How would Jasper be able to be behind me on the streams now? I don't know. How would Jasper be able to be behind me? What do you think, Jasper? How would you be able to be behind me on the streams now? No. Oh, no, this, oh, this is going to be good. How do you think it's going to work Just out, Just wait. Kitty? <laughs> I think it's going to work out. I think he can jump on the chair whenever he wants. Man, he can rub against my head, apparently. I hate, I hate <laughs> his little baby talk with he, of Jasper. Of course, misses the couch because he's not in here anymore. But the chair is more than enough room for Jasper. Isn't that correct, Mister Jasper Kitty? What do you have to say to this, Jasper Kitty? What do you have to say? Jasper Kitty, yeah. He smacks you with his tail. Ram, 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 what do you think of that? What do you think? Ram, ram. So he has to get used to this now, uh, right, buddy? You have to get used to this now. I know you're not used to the chair in here. You're used to the love seat, and it's not in here anymore. There's no love seat. Man, he li literally talks to his cat like it's a fucking special needs cat. He does that to, to does that to cat too. He does it to to, to everyone. It's like he talk he talks to them like they're little babies. Like little, and he's like a big boy. He's he's the adult <laughs> dude. Right. Right. <laughs> so guys, we hit the tier two subs goal earlier today. That is excellent. That is amazing. We have a tier three subs goal this month. Well, what is that? tries it returning this year. Cool thing to do during Please. Are you the man? Por favor. It's muy importante. Muy importante. I need to would have moved on by now. You're oh, oh, money. Oh, boy. Pay my bills. Oh, boy. Jenny McCarthy took me a dollar thirty and said, you try to be patient and tolerant with your detractors, but you gotta admit, they don't didn't suffer the vaccination side effects. The vaccination side effects. I, 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 the, 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 moved on by now. This, this, this bait. Your MGS2 gameplay was a decade ago. The thing is, yes. people who hate on me is not still about MGS2 for MGS2 anymore, 2, and you're right, it was a decade ago at this point, if you can believe it. He didn't know how to use rations, get him! MGS2, and they hated it so badly that they started crapping all over me. Um, yes. No, it's, That's it's the source of it all, obviously. Uh, it's become a running meme to hate on me. As they say, they call me a living meme. No, I'm a streamer. You're a bunch of idiots uh, who turn my life into a meme because you're losers and you have nothing else to fucking do. You literally had no friends in real life, so you made a community of weirdos on the internet who all community of weirdos, dude. The, 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 why do people hate him? I don't. I don't get it, dude. I don't get it. He was stalking me, and make fun of me. You have an entire fucking forum community. No, he says this. Sunday, and when he was going on his little rant about Halloween, he said, uh, well, these people who make fun of me, they would not say this to my face. They would not, they would not confront me. 
And now he's saying that we stalk him and all this stuff, but we wouldn't con we wouldn't confront him. Okay. People that just sit on there and shit on me all day because they're completely bereft of any useful thing to do with their life. They're empty fucking people. They're husks that don't really exist. All they do is sit on the internet making fun of me all day. So all day, yes, all day. I make fun of DSP all day. So I mean, it's not like they don't have a specific reason or a specific agenda anymore. What it is is they just here to hate. We are here to hate because that's all we do. Sit on the internet making fun of me all day. So. That's what I mean. It's not like they don't have a specific reason or a specific agenda anymore. Just because you changed doesn't mean that we like the change. He doesn't understand that that change does not mean that you have to love it. I can want someone to change, and they could change, and they could change for the worse. And and with DSP, like you can give him any feedback, and he'll take it to the uh, to the most extreme lengths where you you didn't want it. It's like. You immediately will say, I didn't want this. And then he'll be like, I, you told me you wanted it. So I did it. And how dare you? And it's like, you're like, it, it's ridiculous. You, you never win with him. More. What it is, is they just here to hate. We are here to hate because that's all we do. That's our shtick. And if we stop, if it feels. Dude, I fucking hate his use of shtick. I'm tired of hearing that word, dude. If we were to not exist tomorrow, we wouldn't exist anymore on this planet. Because yes. it's the only thing that we do or we know. We're not I only exist for Phil, dude. My Persona 3 streams are not fun because DSP isn't there, dude. Uh, damn it. Known for. It's pretty pathetic. But that's what it is. It's a running thing now where they can't give it up anymore. Regardless of the fact that, obviously, I've improved over the years. I've changed the person who I used to be and they used to criticize. You're, but there's still room for criticism, though. Just because you change some things doesn't mean that there's nothing new to, to criticize. You, you don't, like... And he'll just say it's moving the goalpost, which is dumb because you, you change and you're bound to make more flaws that people can criticize. Like, you don't just criticize, then you improve, ambiguously improve, and then that's it. That's the end of the discussion. Like, it's it's, it's so stupid. And, it, like, it, it just shows them how little, uh, how much he lacks creativity or understands how creativity works. Or how anything in this field of entertainment works. Like, if something doesn't work, you change it. People may not like the change. Like... You know, you go to from the Last Airbender, the movie, not the movie, whoops, the, the, the TV show, the La Avatar The Last Airbender, Jesus. And then you go to Korra. Not everyone's going to love Korra because they liked Avatar. I mean, there are two different shows, they're done differently, and they tried different stuff with Korra, so of course there's room for error with that. There's er there's issues I had with Avatar The Last Airbender. It's still a good show, but I there's stuff in it that I I wasn't like, you know, eh, what, it is what it is. I, you know, I didn't like it. They improved some of the issues they had with it. But then there's other issues in it. Just because it improves some of the issues I had with Avatar doesn't mean that Korra has no issues to have. Like, that's not how it works. You can't just improve and then say, well, there's nothing to criticize, dude. Like, that, that, that's so stupid. They don't care anymore. To them, you know? <laughs> just like, the, so the Vestry ended on Monday. Yesterday we had a perfectly great day full of streams. Earlier today we had a good tell me watch. Everything's just back to normal. Everything's fine. No drama, no nothing. I guess they thought it was going to be like some crazy difference if the Vestry ended. Nothing's changed. Look at this. Nothing's changed. This guy on Twitter literally told us how he was afraid his income was gonna take a dip. And now it's the detractor saying it. This fucking dude, dude. Everything's good. The streams are great. I'm having fun. I can't wait for the for everything coming up, the new releases and everything. I'm just as, as excited uh, today. Already as forgot what he tweeted. Going and keep going, right? But they seriously thought that, like, when the vestry gone, this would be the end of me, and I wouldn't, I, like, I would go away or something. I'm not going anywhere. Everything's great. No one thought you were going to go away. It's no, the same it's reason why people, years. everyone laughed at his mom saying that he's going to get a job in 10 years. Everyone knew that was, that, everyone pressed X to doubt so hard the button broke. Like, come on. Fuck to the haters. Fuck you. You know, if you think that it's so easy. Oh, yeah, well, Phil just sits on his ass and plays video games all day. I wish. I wish that it was me just sitting here playing video games and relaxing and not worrying about commentary quality. Commentary done, quality. Oh my done. god, what it's a great like oh, commentary and quality. Bottom line is if you're saying that, you're either you know, misinformed or you're just jealous. And poops are 420 tiers, so why do you think detractors Poopster. can't man up and admit you're a much improved person? Because they don't care. They, they that don't was the care. agenda they used to hide behind. Okay. The old agenda was, oh, Phil's a bad person, a bad streamer, we need to change him. We need to change him. No one, no one said that, though. People just... Gave their opinions as to why they don't like your content. That's really all it is. No one sat there is like, we must change him. We must change Phil. But now that's not what it's about anymore. Now it's literally okay. just about having someone to meme on every like, day. Like people want him to improve, sure. And people want to like highlight some, his nonsense. But that's just all it is. 
And DSP is so dumb about it, and he doesn't understand what people were complaining about. Like I said, that's their whole existence now. Their whole positive existence is hating on Phil. This is all they care about. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. We have positive existence for hating on Phil? What? That's news to me. I thought I thought it was toxic. Now it's positive. That's cool. But uh, I I do take offense because I have positive content on my on my channel and it's very positive. I went on a hike. I do art. I do all kinds of in the positive content videos. So I think it's a little rude for DSP to assume that my positive content videos are all about him. How dare you, DSP? Positive content is not just about you. It's about other stuff that I like to share. Wow. Way to be narcissistic and big-headed, dummy. If they, if, they don't, if they don't, oh, God, Phil improved. He's not like he used to be. You know, if they can't admit that, you know, or if they did admit that, they have nothing to meme on anymore. They. I have nothing to meme on because I said, well, he doesn't. Dude, he doesn't say uh, the N-word anymore. Well, God, nothing to meme on. He just puts on clothing for $100. Nothing to meme on there. Okay. Literally, like a puff of smoke would disappear from the internet with nothing to talk about. So they just have to keep it going. Like, they were saying here, um, I guess the latest thing that they're talking about now is some piece of fan art that I have on the pre now, has a detractor meme hidden in it. Now, by the way... Th this wasn't the first detract this 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 uh, fan art wasn't the first fan art to have detractor memes in it that he didn't catch. There was a Crash Bandicoot fan art that has Tevin's face in it, and I think it's still there in his in, like he never deleted the um the fan art or anything. It's still there. Don't worry, it's it's immortalized on his channel. But uh, he his fucking um fan art that he's talking about here, he removed it that stream. That stream, that night stream, he removed it. And he's gonna be trying to dunk on that fan art when he removed it, dude. He re added it back in later, but he removed it when he uh, found out. What? What? A piece of fan art that, by the way, I've had on the stream for like months. All of a sudden, they find out today, they magically determined that. They magically determined. Someone could have sent that in, you put it in, they didn't say anything because they didn't want people to spoil the fun. Because that's kind of what happened to his banners. For those of you who may or may not already know, uh, his Twitch banners, when it has like his tip, his tips logo and all that, used to have Tevin's faces hidden all over, and it was, and some of them were pretty obvious, and DSP never picked up on it. Uh, I don't know if if it was Tevin who revealed it first or someone else, but someone revealed that it that it was there, and like that they they got Th Thanos snapped. So, uh. It is so silly for DSP to be this up in arms when it's, when someone brings up six months after the fact. Because it's obvious people are just trying to be more and more sneaky with it to see how long they can get away with. That's why a lot of people in this chat say a lot of meme shit in there to see what they can get away with and how long it takes them to be banned. That's why that's what a lot of people do in this little chat. That there's a detractor being hidden in fan art. This is what they do all day. They're losers. They have nothing to talk about. They, you know what I mean? So this, oh, let's just make something up new. They're losers, dude. That's why I removed the fan art. The and all it, and all it was was just a reference to the cameo, the dark, dark Cetaphil or whatever, which is like really not the dumbest, really nothing, honestly. It really is. It's like the lowest was. But these we got, they got, they got a reaction on DSP, so they got what they wanted, I guess. Okay. He doesn't uh, care remember, though. You know, the, the new tip goals are in effect. It's fifty dollars for the gunner glasses, hundred dollars for a vest. And I'll, and I'll blow bubbles while I do it and look like a complete... And if we raise $200 tonight, which is look incredibly unlikely, I will spin in my chair until I'm dizzy and fall out of it. Well, not fall out of it, but I will spin like 10, 15 times, and I'll, and I'll blow bubbles while I do it and look like a complete fucking idiot. Now, look how he responds, how he says this. It, you would think a troll suggested the $200 tip goal, but it was it was Cat. And he's, and he's already shitting on it. This was Cat's idea, and, and he kind of like kept alluding that it was the chat's idea, and it's like... No, it's it. It was Cat's idea. Stop, stop stealing her ideas, DSP. It's her idea. Let her have it. About that. I e-bag, right? You're constantly asking your viewers. So what should say? Why are you being so negative about Cat's yeah. uh, suggestion, dude? Up here. Yeah. Want to jump up? Ugh. Gross. Anyway, <laughs> he's stepping my slippers. Only ice coffee. Cheers. Speaking of how mentally ill your detractors are, they're also talking about Jasper. He won't appear on your streams anymore because I got rid of the love seat. The tractors didn't say that Jasper won't appear. They wondered if he would appear because look how little that space is, and it's a moving chair. I don't think cats like sitting on moving objects. I, just just a hunch. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not a cat person, but 
I mean, I'm not a cat expert, but I mean, I'm just assuming here. Uh, then not even one day later, you already show he can still come on the streams. I can't believe the audacity of people that make stuff up now. Uh, since the streams. Stop making up, it's a concern. Yeah, like, I said on the preview, <laughs> okay. I don't want to talk about this at length. I said on the preview, these people are idiots and they'll just try to make a negative out of anything. You know? Yeah, they're negative. And, and, every dude. little thing is going to be the end of me. Oh my god, this is the end of Jasper Phil. not showing up, it's the end of Phil? Okay. Well, that's the end of Phil. I've never ended uh, and I'm not going anywhere. I'm never, it's never going to end until I choose for this to end. We will be streaming and having fun. Alright? Enough of their fucking nonsense. How much longer do I think I'll be on the internet till I die? The bottom line, guys, <laughs> I is... Die. I hope that I can continue to be here and entertain you and be... be the okay. I never saw that one. I saw a lot of the bad Hogan movies. Anyway. I love... Tip on tonight's late stream. Oh, doing good. So thank you very much, uh, Bishop of Mercy, for that very, very generous tip. So ladies and gentlemen, okay? I'm still I'm still having great streams. $90 tip on tonight's late stream. Dick. Ladies and gentlemen, Bishop of Mercy. Ladies and gentlemen. Just tip me $90. Whoa. That is much appreciated. I mean, holy crap, I wasn't expecting a $90 tip. Wasn't expecting a $90 tip, dude. This guy had how many vest streaks? How many night streams where he hit $100? He wasn't expecting $90. Really, dude? Or at least thinking about it? Like, I get, I, I get, I get what he means. Like, he wasn't expecting to get $90, I guess. Like, he wasn't saying there, like, I'm gonna get $90 tonight, but, I mean, it's not really that surprising when he had multiple streams where he got hundred dollars tip on tonight's late stream uh, to be honest but with you. okay and as you can see Bishop of mercy even though the vest streak ended okay look at at that new setup that glorious setup where he has to do this it's like drawing like this like and I, no it's like i do i draw like this i have a mirror here so i have to draw and look at the mirror because that's that's how you draw that's how you do art I'm still, I'm still having great streams, we're still having fun, and I'm still, you know, doing good. So thank you very much, uh, Bishop of Mercy, for that very, very generous tip. So ladies and gentlemen, due to Bishop of Mercy, not only, not only do Copies. I get to put on the gunner glasses, but also we get gray or platinum, as much as I'm grateful because I'm not, but remember the whole time the vegetable- I'm only about- Oh god, here we go. I care about making money, making money. And by the way, not that I want to jinx anything, and certainly not that I want to seem ungrateful because I'm not- I don't want to sound ungrateful, but let me tell you, guys. Not, but- the Remember the sucked. whole time the vest streak was happening, and all the people who don't like me were saying, Oh man, Phil wouldn't get this normal amount of support, it's just because of the streak. Once that streak ends, he's screwed, right? DSP said that on his tweet, though, and he told us when he, uh, when the streak was over, I don't think I'm gonna get a streak ever again, man. I don't think I'll be getting money anymore. I don't think anyone's gonna be tipping me anywhere. Once it's over, it's over, guys. I don't know. Right. I don't know, man. It's gonna be over, man. My, my income is gonna take a dip. But now, now it's amazing. Of course, you see, it all ended. Okay. It all, just, it all just ended overnight. <laughs> no, people actually like my streams. They actually like my content. They I guess. I guess you know maybe DSP is bipolar, or something, or schizophrenic, or something, because maybe he was listening to his inner detractor, and his inner detractor was saying that he wasn't going to do it. So then he blames his detractors, obviously. Like me, that's why they're here. They're not here to just be negative jerks all day. They actually enjoy the stuff, you know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have been around for twelve years if I didn't actually have a long-standing positive fan base who likes who I am and what I do. You know, it's just that simple. And I appreciate the guys. But really you do. only get money to put on the like, vest. When I'm playing, you guys come out and hang out with me. We have fun. We have a good okay. time, man. It's like I had put myself into this. It's gonna be interesting to see it's like if this will all like evaporate. You know. Right. What I mean is, people want to see more than just two vests. So then the next day, they place doesn't punch the guy. Then. The Holy shit, I, I, you know, I'm joking about that, thinking I'm never gonna hit it. And now- He's done. Alright. Well, I think that'll be it. That's all the stuff I, I want to talk about. I do know only Ice Coffee did leave DSP, but, uh, you know, everyone's seen that clip. You know what, let's see if I can find the clip. Uh, who would have it? I don't know. Uh, no, I guess I could just- Try to search for it in uh, Snorpernell land. Let's see, I think it's this one. This is how to play the game! Start making better financial decisions. Listen, are you not rolling? My YouTube channel got fucked up, my income dipped. We're at $68 in tip. I'm actually in a much better position, so. What do you do with my stream? Nothing. Thing. It's a silly oh. and fuck. Hold up. I'm all right. I'm okay. 
probably true. Lena Ghost Weeks, a lot of haters try to say you didn't own it. You waited a couple days to start making that day. That's how I out. I've never spoken package. See that? It's a golden package. Uh, oh, here we go. Two months. All right. Soon will grow. Soon, no. Only Ice Coffee now did a thousand bit cheer. He said, Phil, farewell for now. Maybe our paths will cross again in the future. Most love as always. Can this guy gave DSP so much subs and so much money. 500 subs. And he's just going to leave. Man, it's so clear why he... What's going to happen, right? He's going to leave. DSP's going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's going to keep talking about him, sucking his dick and all this stuff. Then... He's gonna come back like a year or two later or whatever the fuck, and these people, are like, oh, hey, his coffee's here. Oh, yeah, hello, man. Oh, what you, how, what you, how you doing, man? It's been a while since I seen you around. Whoa, man. Can I get a good vibe from the chat? Big ups, thank you all, for the entertainment these last few months. All right, so it sounds like Only Ice Coffee has hit 500 gifted subs and is moving on. I guess he just earned that golden package. See that? It's a golden. Look how package, nervous he uh, is. Symbol. Well, Only Ice Coffee, I would say, obviously, thank you so much. For all the support, I sure everyone here owes you a debt of gratitude. Everyone owes you an attitude. Man, this is the same attitude he had with Tut and Emerald 7. And man, he did not learn anything from those times. For everything that you've done for the channel, but also for the, all the gifted subs. I'm sure people have really... Like, really it's very it. clear, dude, that you can get... If you, if you wail for DSP, you'll be his best friend. He will love you. He will take a bullet for you. But man, if, if you fucking hate him, fuck you. Subs. Over the last one, it's been like three plus months, right? And thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Um, you know, in reality, Jasper, why are you climbing the television? He's climbing the television. Look at this. A cat's climbing a television. Uh, I'm I'm not even 90%. I'm 100% sure people don't want their cats climbing TVs. It's only a matter of time before Jasper decides to, kick, to push the, the TV down. He really should not let his cat do that because... Eventually, Jasper's just gonna be like, fuck this TV and push it over. I mean, he might not have that in mind, but he's he, he could get, uh, you know, in a situation where the TV will fall. But this is how he reacts to it. Oh, he's climbing the TV, man. Oh, cats will be cats. In reality, you know, you're a major reason why we hit the sub goals the last few months. So it's much appreciated. Every month he's been around. And, uh, well, again, yeah. all sub goals are hit by even, gifted subs. I don't even subs. know why you showed up on the stream like, one day randomly. And like, it's literally not only as coffee, though. It's everyone. Every, every sub goal. Every, literally every sub goal he has was only hit because of gifted subs. Which I wouldn't say is a bad thing. Because, sure, people want to gift subs, they hit goals, etc. But, like, it's such a meme level of... Gifted subs, it's so goofy. Start supporting, you just did, you know. But it's very cool. Wherever you, wherever you go, I wish you the best. I wish you safety in the worldwide pandemic. I thank you. If you ever want to come back and hang out, please be, be feel free to. Um, I don't know why you are leaving in particular, but thanks for everything. Man, he sounds like he's a, he's like afraid that only as cop is gonna go off and meet to him, guys. Only of uh, uh, Vox Media, uh, 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 sends a report, guys. Twitch streamer Darkseid Phil secretly harassed a Twitch user by the name Only Ice Coffee. Only now the user has come forward with leaks of DMs and emails of Darkseid Phil demanding nudes and all kinds of fucked up shit. In return, Only Ice Coffee would have to give him money to keep his silence. Like, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like DSP is afraid that he's gonna just expose DSP for something. That's what it sounds like. And everyone else. You know, who got gifted stuff from him, you should probably wish him thanks as well, because he did uh, help out significantly. Okay? Celebratory toast! Everyone, if you have a drink, we're done with that. Uh, thinking of contributing at all, you know, hint, hint. Hint, hint. Tips goal tonight. <clears throat> right. And basically completely derailed my stream without my permission. Crew choose it. Do you really think Destiny should be banned from Twitch because you made uh, Don't need to talk about that. Well, everyone, thank you for watching this video. Uh, it was a fun one. We learned a lot, uh, especially about money. DSP loves money. DSP loves it. Gotta give him money. Gotta give him the money to get the best. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you next time. And everyone, ha stay safe out there. Be good. Be happy. And hopefully I'll see you on the next Persona 3 stream, baby. Alright, everyone. Farewell. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.